Hello! Oh, the camera's fucked. What? Yes. What's happened? Uh, well, we can we can see very little of Amy. I'm gonna adjust it right now. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have been booted out of our normal room by people. God damn it. Uh, and we've had to make do with the ping pong room. The table is hopefully just out of frame. Uh, <laughs> oh, <the> dice cam. <laughs> it was so cool. Hello, dice cam. <laughs> <laughs> This is a real behind the scenes kind of. This is the this is the sweatiest room at Rich Crest South by virtue of the ping pong table. Okay, somebody somebody take a look at my at OBS here. Let me know when to stop. Um, stop. You're good. Right there, we're good. Uh, you can move a little bit toward Amy. I okay. How's that? Uh, that right there is fantastic. Perfect. I'm not touching the camera again. Let's reset the dice cam. Uh, because this is load-bearing duct tape. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This is it's the, only the most important session of the campaign this so stream far. Couldn't, I'm so excited. I know, me too. The beginning of this stream couldn't possibly be foreshadowing the contents of this <laughs> No, stream. no, no, no. It's, we're getting all grab. of the bad stuff out now. Oh, all right. true. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're broadcasting <laughs> from the... Oh, the stool's in frame! That's so embarrassing. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on, you say that. Oh, all right, we gotta get the stool out of frame. Stool reference. Pat the this. stool. That OBS is. is already running. Cancel. Why? That is crazy. All right, hold on. Wait, Let's wait, go wait. to. Jesus, that's a lot of tabs. Um, so I will tell you tabs. once the stream catches up to it. Okay, let me open the overlay. Hey, oh, there's a, there's on. people here. Oh, ah, fuck. Shit. <laughs> uh, ben, I think you did it. Did I fix it? You yeah. did it? We're good? Alright. Alright. Putting that. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Techniques into, into use. Wait. Be, oh, oh the dice cam. No. Yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of ceiling, but that's okay. This is also a necessary evil. Yes. This is yeah, this is as quality of a setup as we could obtain. Yep. Yeah, this is us. Given the physical restraints of the furniture available to us. Um, and hopefully that ends up being okay. Ugh. Oh, fuck! And I need to change the banner from Bowling Street Tinkatures to, um, the Menagerie, don't I? You sure do. Okay, overlay, browse. Now, there are 38 I'm images on my oh, computer yeah, labeled definitely. Blades in the Dark Mega Campaign Sheet. Why have you done that? And one of them is the correct one. I'm gonna go with 14. Oh, that's cool. oh I just oh, bought the mic. Close. How's everyone liking the sound of my arm? Oh, that's actually, good. yeah, did I plug the, the mic in? <laughs> I think, yeah, mic is plugged in. Okay, solid moment. So uh, let's go with so 15. So right, that's not correct. Let's go with 14. Okay, oh, we already tried that one. Yes, I see some says S T A. True. 16. Here comes 17. Yeah! All right, 17 all right. moment. There we are. I also oh, left. Yeah. really did a lot of I also left all the clocks right. open. I have little Let's get ones. those out of here. They're like very all right. loud metal ones that don't work very well. Big fan of the small funny. ones that They're will not show dramatic. up well on camera. Look at this. We did it. We're all Thank set. Guys. <laughs> they probably will not show up on camera. I, I forgot water, six, and it's very me, warm in here. Fine. I will be right back. I'm going to The Jim Goblin is live! Oh, that's oh, Whoa! Alright. I'll be right back. So, okay. I let's have, entertain Twitch chat. I'm being okay, sure okay, chat. I'm power out of comedy over here. I think, I think it, it, <laughs> Twitch chat is just Patty, I think. Yeah. What up, Patty? Patty? Yeah, Yo, Hi. Patty! Hey, Patrick. Welcome to chat. Who are you? Um, so, here, chat. Help us out. How are we going to get out of this alive? Yeah, guys, what what's our what's our approach here? What's our scheme? Chat, yeah, what do we think? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We're I have feed I, us ideas. We're like we're we're deceiving again. <laughs> Which has always that. worked super well. <laughs> <laughs> we're 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 gonna do that. Your friend blast so fast and cancel the plan. That's an interesting proposition, but the thing about that is that that will not give us money. Yeah, we don't get paid for that for one. Hmm. And I would hate to disappoint my wife to be. That's We'd we also have be to make it out. We're gonna be sleeping on the couch. That's yeah. Like, probably gonna awesome. be sleeping with the fishes. Sleeping <laughs> with the fishes. <laughs> uh, uh, PRC hot. I don't know if you want to be in this room. Much. It is hot and Sweet. doesn't smell very good. Who, Patrick? Is that PRC Hawks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you well, want to come just here. I think you're gonna be more screen. comfortable at home. We'll kick you out if you show up. Oh, we can do a laugh track in the background. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go point. Patty, you're watching right now from the comfort of your own home. Exactly. And you're Why would you come us. in here? You're doing so. Oh, who's that guy? Ah. Intruder alert. 
Yeah. James these reference? Have, these dice have rolled me three triple ones, but they have also oh. rolled me multiple Speaking double of sixes. Dice, so right. borrow three d six. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me let me pass you some. Those are dice. so little. Wait, I'm I want to see if they if them. they like. Can you you can like barely do that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, these ones have dice. Yeah, dice. Yeah, it makes our tray look so huge. Feel, this is yeah. these are That's branded. Those are your dice brand. tray. I can't <laughs> attest to how lucky yeah. they will be, but they are your Not brand. I also, I also like how how little of us you can see. Like, yeah, we're really the vast the majority of the frame. Of the frame is a lot of, a lot I don't get halfway up the camera. By we'll just use we'll just use big gestures. Play the cheap seats. <laughs> uh, engineer watching from the comfort of Texas. I see you. All right, so <laughs> right. Take your sister. Yeah. Weebly, Weebly, check. Oh, Christ. Yeah, hold on. Weebly, Weebly wasn't there Weebly on was Friday. Weebly was not there yesterday. On Saturday. Batten down oh God, the fucking so hatches. Sad. We have a surprise guest. Hello, Patty. Get out! <laughs> Is that a new shirt? It's nice. It's a solid new shirt. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not black. Good. Wow. It goes real good with his new jacket, too. Can we, can we get a dice cam on Patty's new shirt? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Patrick. You can make a quick No, get out. Yeah, I guess I was gonna say, yeah. As you can tell, it is too hot in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I actually don't feel hot at all. No, get out. Yeah, it's, it is warm and smelly in here, and I am sick. This is going to be a hell of a session. Chad, no Casper has branded all over this room. It is very, very hot. I haven't had any human interaction. Today. Okay, well. Hi. well fine. Me... You can be Parasocial isn't enough in chat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, but Patty has been downgraded to That's parasocial it. relations. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Asking you to be the parasocial, we literally know each other. So, friendship ended with Patrick Ryan. Uh, parasocial, <laughs> parasocial relations. Oh, I've got to send this to my sister. Sorry. I thought she needed to watch this. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a certain uh, burrito <laughs> squid who I'm not seeing in chat. Burrito uh, squid? Excuse you? Is that your brother? Uh, really? it might be. I'm just gonna say. I thought Burrito um, Squid was my friend Eli. The Pape Clan is representing. No. Oh, is that or is that Beezlebug? Uh, Burrito Squid would be my 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 okay. beloved sibling. So I've been confused. Oh man, yeah. if only the people's Twitch names should be. Ah, uh, that's names, my sister. That makes sense. Uh, All right, and I'm here. Okay. I'm ready for this monologue. Monologue. Oh. Oh, Remember, you have to narrate Patsy. what happened. <laughs> Describe right. what did not yeah. get recorded. It's a very important. It <laughs> so, honestly sets up the entire stakes. It of really the does. Mission. So yeah, um, for for those of us that weren't there, which is all of you, because I turned off the stream before it happened. Uh, we had the only plot relevant downtime of the entire <laughs> campaign after the last menagerie session. Uh, Casper O'Manon. Casper O'Manon. Yeah. Casper the Crow O'Manon. Uh, used his downtime to fill up an eight-segment progress clock, Court Lissa, <laughs> the leader of the Crows. Now, with his own time and resources, he wasn't able to fill this clock, but the Menagerie spent literally all of their combined money <laughs> to make this happen. And so there were like, it was like four separate roles, right? Yeah. With yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and effort and setup roles and stress put into it. Mm -hmm. like. And so we just put into it. Oh, yeah. And so we have uh, we we We're we we them. set up right at the end of the previous oh, episode. We no, have no. a we have a brief mo a brief montage set to piano music. We'll say. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. Still we still have two coins. We still have two coins. Let's use them all. All right. Hey, True. it'll buy us. The <laughs> so we've got we've got buy us the ceremony. A brief oh, brief money, montage yeah. set to music. I believe the first thing Casper did uh, was Lissa is sitting in her throne room when she receives a ghostly visitor a flickering blue crow arriving at the windowsill with a sealed scroll clutched in its beak. It drops verses of amateur poetry into her hands, addressed to her from one Casper O'Manon. We cut a few days into the future. Casper is barely literate, by the way. He had to <laughs> beg the to help him write poetry. There's a lot of scholarly <laughs> grammar in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hemlock is an academic, but he is not a poet. <laughs> I thought you were about to say not literate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to read scoundrels in this campaign aren't literate. Hemlock can read and write, That's but he... Valid. He just chooses not to. <laughs> he's just not... You don't want to ask him for help with anything uh, English majory. I think. <laughs> and we cut, to, we cut to a few days later as she is looking out her window into the clouded night sky, clouded perpetual night sky, um, when all of a sudden, the horizon is lit up by a heart of flame carved into the sky by Casper O'Manon's tempest ability. She gazes out at the spectacle and 
looking through a spyglass, sees her soon-to-be love standing there at the top of the abandoned tower. Magic. <laughs> Not the Sheldon. <laughs> we cut further into the future um, to Casper O'Manon chasing a ghostly Komodo dragon down the halls of the Hulliver Lane Zoological Society and Park. Lissa in a past, Lissa in the past as a little girl dreamt of being a zookeeper at the Lizard House in a easier time. Casper, covered with scratches, manages to obtain the Komodo dragon and gifts it to Lissa in a little box. She sits in her room night after night playing with her newfound pet. She allows herself, for the first time in years, a genuine smile. And then, in an act of peace to fully join the crows to their new allies, the Menagerie, the latter hosts a large extravagant feast with meals cooked up by a long-deceased chef who died mauled by a tiger within the confines of the Hulliver Zoo. The meal goes over incredibly well. Lissa and her guards and lieutenants are deeply impressed by the whole affair, and she demands that Casper mm -hmm. serve this same banquet again next month at their marriage. Yeah. Should Casper survive this mission, he will become led, uh, wed to Lissa, the leader of the crows. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So that's what you missed. And now let's begin the actual session, right? That's what you missed, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning, be, begin episode, what is this, 12? Oh shit, I gotta change the title of the stream. I didn't do that at all last time. Oh yeah, have the title Let's do an edit stream the, info reference. The Menagerie um, Kills and or Dies. Session 12. Kills or Kills. Uh, <laughs> the menagerie Equals kills death. Blazo Baz on his birthday. Oh yep. man, yeah, I forgot about oh, that. It's Blazo's birthday. It's birthday, birthday. That was established oh, in a previous oh, session. Oh. That was established in the in the. Sucks. Hey, if you missed that it. session, go to go to https colon slash slash youtube dot com slash Jim Goblin. No, no, no cash. No, there's numbers slash. at the end of it. Zero one zero zero one two. That's James. not correct. Find Jim Goblin. No, where this is the Jim Goblin. It's like Jim Goblin with like oh nine eight four or something. Okay, on Twitch. Jim Goblin is a hobgoblin themed VTuber, and we are the Jim Goblin. Uh -huh. On YouTube, he hasn't set up in that market yet, so no. we get to be Jim Goblin. Uh -huh. but, but, so, with so, numbers. Jim, Jim. With numbers. Jim. No, with numbers. numbers. There's no numbers. Have you no, there are numbers because I couldn't find you. No, that's not true. No, like that was the whole point. I couldn't find Jim Goblin. Also, YouTube, YouTube become a Guys. goblin. Look at this. Look YouTuber. at this. Jim Goblin. That's our channel name. At Jim Goblin 9184. Okay. This is literally 918. <laughs> Go to no, Action Goblin. 918. Nine one, nine one, nine one I can't eight believe eight you did 918, not 1980. I didn't get to choose. This is literally 918. How many goblins are before you? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My friend! <laughs> and watch the VOD. So many. Go watch the VOD. It's a Scotland like stream. It's There's really like good. Go watch Go watch Gilthrax episode. What, like, Gilthrax episode? Do you have goblins before you? Lost media. Watch. Anyway. Let's start the session, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah. Like, no, 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 no. So, <laughs> we open at the top of the crow's nest, uh, an old abandoned structure which has served as many different functions throughout the history of the Crowsfoot district. It has at times been a spirit warden's base, a watchtower, and now is the citadel of one of the more prominent criminal gangs in Duskwall's recent history. At the top of the tower, in the master bedroom of the facility, sits Lissa alone in front of her vanity. Um, she looks into the mirror, double, triple checking that everything is ready to go for her oncoming meeting with her new allies. She combs her feathers, applies her eyeshadows, and reflects on the previous events and coming events of the next few weeks. She has perfectly orchestrated the war in the Crowsfoot district. The death of her boss, Rorik, prevented a, presented an ample opportunity for her. But her allies in this battle are not the strongest sort. The menagerie like them as much as she does, haven't truly proved themselves yet. <laughs> to most high-ranking criminals in the district, they're just psychopaths with good luck. Her other allies, two big gun runners, and if she's lucky, a band of psychotic ethnic terrorists, if next month's negotiations go over well. She is filled with immense doubt, but she can't let any of that shine through. Not here, not now. Now is not the time for doubt, 
It's the time for action. She takes a deep breath, steadies herself, and mouths into the mirror, showtime, before disappearing in a puff of feathers. At the Hall of Lane Zoo, the four members of the menagerie have been readying themselves for the crime of the century. They have been offered a small fortune for the murder of the second and third highest ranking crime bosses in the district. The ever intimidating leader of the Lamp Black Gang, Blazo Baz, and his arch rival, the reclusive, mysterious Mylera Clev of the Red Sash Gang. They've spent weeks poring over blueprints, addressing the staff of Tangletown where the negotiations are being held between the two gangs, presenting an opportunity where both bosses are in one place at one time. It's all or nothing, live or die, win or lose, tonight. And a buzz at the zoo gates indicates that their patron is waiting to be impressed outside. <clears throat> so. Casper's probably going to be the one to answer the door. <laughs> he, he knows who it is. Stepping outside, the um, you guys are based in the reptile house, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Stepping outside of the reptile house, there's a long, old, dusty, cobbled road that leads to the front gate of the Zoological Society. Where, as always, a crow is perched on a little branch next to the buzzer, just pressing in on it. Of course, not being restricted by doors, being Lissa. Mm -hmm. She's already inside the zoo, leaning against a sputtering, malfunctioning lamppost just across the way from the reptile house. She leans there, slowly caressing a crow in her left hand with her right. Well, hello, my love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How have things been keeping Zeus out? Sure. Well, <laughs> we as ready as we're going to be. Oleander? Fyodor, Samandriel, feeling confident? Always. Of course. It's going to be light, light work. I expect nothing less. You know, Tangletown is, as I'm sure you know, one hell of a target. I imagine more guns per capita than anywhere else in Duskwall, and, well, that's a metric with a high bar. The pork chop runs a pretty serious security operation, and I imagine that the lamp blacks and red sashes are going to be present in full force. Many people have tried to kill Mylera Clef, and even more Blazo Baz in the last decade. Yet none have been successful, and an equal number have found themselves chained to anchors at the bottom of the River Dosk. I anticipate the same may happen to some of you, but hey, it's all for the greater good, right? As she holds up a large bag of money. <laughs> Now, <laughs> just <a> read <laughs> <laughs> Take it, run. <laughs> right. <sighs> now I'm hoping that you're going to be able to clear both targets for me. I think we're agreed that this is an all-or-nothing sort of job. But I beseech you, prioritize Blazo Bads if you can. The Red Sashes are losing the war. And if I had to pick one to fight at full force, it'd be them. But if you fully do your job today, my Lara Clev, Blazo Baz, dead and incinerated, well, things get a whole lot easier from here. I have the owls sorting out a small issue of supply and demand as we speak. And our friends, the police, well, I think the scobs are going to have them well taken care of. That just leaves you to do your little part. So, ready, willing, maybe? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> then head out. Tangletown should only be about 30 minutes as the crow flies. And she's going to have a flock of crows descend on her, and Lissa is gone. So cool. She's so, so your awesome. Fiance, so <laughs> <laughs> We cut to the old Bunsen's Coal Emporium, where stepping onto a small but incredibly well-guarded boat on the abandoned docks outside of Lamp Black Hill is the huge figure of Blazo Baz. It's nighttime, the sun shards have set, and Duskwall has cast that ever darker pitch black that only comes at midnight. He checks his father's old silver pocket watch. He's gonna be on time to the meeting, but he's not super concerned with that. He gets to meet Mylera Clev at last. He's got a thing or two to say to that broad. 
there could be no better gift for his birthday. He eats a cupcake prepared for him lovingly <laughs> by his son, Laszlo, and he sets <laughs> off down the canal. Uh, I thought they would have like a Menagerie! Shall we get into the engagement rules? Yes. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so we have what the one plan? plan to pretend to be <coughs> the uh, entertainment for the venue. I've got a lot of stuff that I can, can I use for that. that. Can I, I All points left! Yeah, I'm feeling it's someone's special day. And there <laughs> is. <laughs> Hurdle and number there one. is a circus in town. There is, yes, the circus is in town. <gasps> I feel like that's, that's by a the way, lot that of bonus guy. Get a free adult device to go to the service. Also, yes. <laughs> also, it would make what it out I here think would probably give us a bonus die on this in terms of being bold and risky is that I need a really clever disguise because Blazo Baz is my old boss that's true. and my yeah. skin is on fire. <laughs> uh, used to be a yeah. Oh, recognize I forgot him. about that. That could be an issue. I forgot about Ooh. that. Can we put him in the cake? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can put it in the cake. We can put it in the cake. Cast me up for me. I feel so a funny. big cake. Like One person hidden in it. Bla- we present we matching we hands. We present Blazer Baz with big cake, and he's big like, cake, big cake. Oh, he's like, oh, I love oh, cake. Yeah. How do I ban this guy? And then him Remember? and Brick jump out there's of a, the cake. There's an advertisement yes. in the. There's a bot in the chat, and like, wait, did I just reply to him? <laughs> Carter, how do I get this guy out of here? I don't know. I've never done a Twitch. Here we go. Whisper. <gasps> reference. reference. <laughs> all right. Uh, ban. Ban. Oh, yeah. I want to time him out and then ban him. All right. Time out. Right. Ten time minutes. Out. Wait, you know Think it's an ad. I almost modded it. Message deleted. Message deleted. <laughs> and he's out here. Do not. All you right. know it's an ad. It's an ad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. An ad. Oh. yeah. It's a. Yeah. Ad. Yeah. It's a yeah. Ad. yeah. All right. I banned him. He's gone. Time out. He's Think gone. About what you did. Yeah. Savannah. Oh, that. Is I just so dropped the viewer. Bring him back. Bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone. But. Oh, I need to watch all of those movies. You know who's third now? I don't care. I'm in the middle of something. So. All right. So martial law. Okay. So we need an engagement role for you four. We do. I'm already so I'm we're already going in disguise Google as the circus, oh, as a division of the circus who have been sent here to celebrate Blazo Baz's special day. I oh, assume that sounds like Stop. a deception plan to me. It sounds like a yes, deception plan. Yes, again. <laughs> I assume that we've. Okay. You mentioned all the preparing we were doing. I assume perhaps we've already... Well, it's assumed that every time every yeah. dude was doing some preparing, yeah. that's what flashbacks represent. Yeah, yeah. we'll okay. probably be flashbacking to make sure that the people who run this establishment are expecting entertainment. I could say that's true, yeah. Yeah, they're this expecting... The moment Al Butcher likes to entertain. Yeah. Al Butcher. Al Butcher cannot Al Butcher. die. <laughs> Guys, we have no reason to kill Al Butcher. We can't blow up the blow. pork chop. We... <laughs> 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 Look you, you Mr. Reckless <laughs> Trauma! Hey, we're going to do what we have to do. No! Like, it's like you guys are hunched right. over at the start of the planning phase. You've got a blueprint of Tangletown with the pork chop in the middle. And Oliander oh, starts <laughs> drawing places where he's already planted explosives. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> he just writes huge stick of dynamite with an yeah. arrow in the center. Of the huge bomb! <laughs> Listen, okay. we're going to keep our options open. No. We're going to do <laughs> what Except it takes that one. for the money. Oh, so, that's okay. fair. But, uh, what, if, what if we get him out and then rebuild the pork chop? Somebody, we have to. Connect. Yeah, with that, with that, with, with that, that money, money. then go back in. Yeah. Easy. So, are we doing a deception engagement role with the method of deception being disguising yourselves as entertainers for the evening's festivities? I think this is a good uh, one. Yeah, no, we've just got to figure something dogs. out for him. It's going to so, be a lot of dogs. Well, you're disguising a circus performer. Yes. So yeah, we're dressing I know, up like circus performers. So I feel I like he could be like. He glows. We could. Did you like to spend a coin on some like arcane makeup that can disguise the glow? That might be useful. Ooh, that might we, be. Have, we have. We do money. have the we money. We're about to have, 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 have hella money. So yeah, I was gonna say we might as well spend any coin we have. I was about to spend it. Be, it's literally five um, percent of your earnings for this session. Yeah, it's like nothing. It's yeah. pocket change. All right. This is such a little A coin. For uh, I no longer am on fire. Yes, yeah. you're disguising yourself as weird fantasy circus performers, the yeah. kind that would perform in Duskwall. Yeah, right. Instead, of that's like, not that far a reach for many of us. I don't need that much. Yeah. Like, I got like a split. I've dog. spent like, one from the menagerie here. sheet. Uh, what yeah, is that? what does that I've give just us gunned myself up to be a bit more fishy. I've got like skills, and like okay, bet. Okay, what? I. No. Might that help our engagement? I already know role? that I no. could probably. I think it's going to negate a harm against your engagement. Role. We'll take okay. that. Cool. I should already probably 
could use like my fine disguise kit as well. Look. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Now let's firstly decide on load. Remember that the higher the load, the more suspicious you look. Yeah. How much load, load would a circus performer have on their way into we have, like, a yes. completely inconspicuous circus performer would have light load, a moderate load <laughs> <laughs> would have a medium load. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take a normal load. Because I feel like heavy might be okay. Excuse me, reference. I think I if, like, like, we could do half and half, maybe. I feel yeah, like taking half half. light might be a mistake. M- light is going to be a mistake. I, I already know it's going to be a mistake for me. Because we're probably going to need we're gonna to be able to take armor. Use, yeah. oh I can see us needing to take armor. We're going to need armor. <laughs> we're going to need <laughs> weapons. The other way around. And we're going to need gear. We got a not sponsored. We should all admit not sponsored. But could be. Okay, if we took armor and... <laughs> I think we should at least all take <laughs> normal. Stuff we need in a tiny car. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, could we... Yeah, could we, we need at least one. So if we took, we took armor and then I'm used to that. I feel like I could bring some equipment so that might okay, be... I'm, assuming, so yeah, it's, I'm yeah. assuming that if you're taking moderate or heavy load, you're disguising it such that it looks like equipment. Yeah. But it will be yeah. sus. That's the like suss. that is that, that is that is what point, load I feel does. Like we're gonna need heavy armor. Like, yeah. Not if you're wearing a fine disguise kit, that makes a heavy load way less suspicious. <clears throat> oh. So but doesn't I'm that cost to... a load? <laughs> It does, worth and I, I'm, you, I'm willing to use that. Like that's that would be that worth was it. the thing. Is that's, that's that is worth it. Six versus like. Would it be? It like, would. You said it could. When be. like something comes up, like why are you so? Why do you got so much shit on you? Then she could choose to take a load and say, actually, it's not obvious because I'm using my fine disguise kit. Could we use it like oh, at that moment? Yes. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'll just so go on ahead and take, take heavy then. And then yeah. I guess You've I'm gonna got go an insurance normal. against. Yeah, I'll prompt. take heavy. I don't think I can survive on light, so I'm gonna roll normal. Yeah, light load is hard. Yeah, I don't think we should do light. I think light load's gonna cost me a lot of stress. We're gonna need so uh, much shit. I feel like I wanna, I wanna do heavy. Because I need to come in here. I need. Because I feel like we need all the help we can get here. And it's gonna Besides, be like, it's gonna I got be some. Anyway, like we're gonna be suspicious at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna need my bandoliers. I'm gonna need my. Yeah, I need. I got <laughs> some <laughs> ghost hands <laughs> full of. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, all the Ender might just have like a balloon animal like thing, but it's full of like explosive gas. Yeah, yeah. I reserve the right to improvise weaponizing show equipment. Okay. They could be really smart. So, do we want to make it? Has everyone take load? Yes. Do we want to make an engagement roll? No. All right, I mean. I guess we have to. Bells are bugged. Is that you, Eli? Bells are bugged. Welcome. Uh, you're just in time for the engagement roll. Oh. Okay. Oh Here we go. So who's rolling? And who's, how yeah, many who's rolling the engagement roll? Heidi's rolled the best. Not it. Uh, Heidi, Heidi has rolled the best. Ooh, the Fabrice is fake. Wait, how many am I rolling? Uh, we're, I'm we gotta figure that out. Refresh the Fabrice clock? Please and thank you. The Fabrice clock. Give me a Fabrice <laughs> reference. Let me handle that alchemical. A Fabrice clock. Please. This bit of play. Ooh, well, yeah. well, somebody is up. Spray it into the fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so smart. Whoa! Oh! Do that again. Do you can do it. You can do it. I like the feeling of a reason. Do you have your under attack from all under have lot? It's like the mall. You know some malls where they do that? Yeah. I'll just leave it here in case I need to get my Oh, 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 I could use trick cards and like really get Blazo Baz hyped up. <laughs> we could gamble, make him money, mystery. make him feel real good, and then just. All right, let's do it. Let's get right into the session. Oh, wait. Really into, like, the like, oh, shit, my yeah, well, if we get him really into it and distracted. So, please take one die for pure luck. That's one. Now. Uh, is this operation particularly? Take a second die. It is particularly bold. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> bold. My skin is on fire. I would say that this does not expose us. I, I'm going to say it's this is birthday. birthday. It's going to be very but it's his birthday. It's his birthday. But it's also one of the most securely guarded criminal birthday. locales in the district. Oh, fine. Uh, but it's his birthday. But it's his birthday. In neutral territory. There is a carnival in town. Is this like for? There's like, a carnival in town. There is oh, the circus in town. Oh fuck! Path. Take a die. Yeah. yeah. There's a carnival in town. So weird. All right. Circus. Are there friends or contacts or enemies or rivals? Normally, I'd give minus one die because Blazo Baz would recognize Cassie. Would be recognizing. But, but you spent a coin. You've negated that. Marissa. Are there is other on my sheet. To consider maybe a lower. Okay, Tangletown's like a tier two. I probably I'd probably run Tangletown as a tier three organization. 
Minus one die because you're doing a score on Tangle Town. Okay. You still have, this is, we very rarely have two die engagement rolls. This is a two like, die engagement roll? I'm very stingy with my engagement dice. This is solid. All right. Remember that if you roll two sixes, you start having overcome the initial obstacle. On one six, you start in a control position. On your highest being a four or five, you start in a risky position. And on a one, two, or three being your highest, you're starting in a desperate position. Please, Samandriel, oh. check yourself with an You got this. Okay. Please. That's oh, double fours. Okay. Double fours. Right. Okay, you're starting at a risky not position. Great. Okay. Not no, that's fine. Risky we'll neutral. take it. Yeah. It's fine. All right. Okay, moment. Okay, uh, moment. Okay, okay moment. reference. All right. So, Ooh. let's see. I'm going to say that you guys are, you know, you've, 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 you've paid a couple silver, not enough to represent a coin, but you've, you've paid a fee to some local gondoliers who are taking you down the canal of the River Dosk, slowly towards Tangled Town, which grows in the distance. This big, tangled mess of shipwrecks and platforms and shanty buildings that are all cobbled together at the center of the river with the water, you know, gushing and flowing around it with all sorts of boats constantly pulling up and casting off from the structure. <coughs> Gang, I really don't want to get tied to an anchor down there. No, we'll be fine. What kind of suck? Excuse me. Um, you, you can only have two of those per hour, you know that, right? Is that true? You oh my god, god. menthol. Oh, on God! It's another hour somewhere. What? No, it's not. <laughs> That's <laughs> nonsense. Isn't that the second one? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're fine. So you're good. Yeah, we're we're good. for an hour. Surely I won't take I another one. I know that. Because I read the. I, I was sick like oh, no. last. I take sure, a lot. Really of them. I take a lot of them. I was gonna say, James, you usually have two at once. To my <laughs> active detriment, Jim Goblin dies on stream. <laughs> menthol overdose. I've got peppermints. Jazz hits. I've got Ricola. Oh my gosh. Okay. Could be sponsored. Tangled Town, <laughs> the neutral negotiating territory for all of the gangs of Duskwall sits before you, growing larger and larger on the horizon. It is, it, 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 it's midnight, right, when all of the coolest gang negotiations happen, and you guys are pulling up to the gang plank of Tangle Town, where all of the onloading and offloading happens. They like to very thoroughly inspect people here to make sure that you're not bringing any unauthorized weapons or equipment into Tangle Town, and to verify your identity. These criminals are very solid record keepers and like to keep track of who enters and who exits Tangletown. Somebody give me a name for the head of security for Tangletown. Blans Bolbrook. Bland, no, no. We, we already have our Holbrook and he's dead. Oh. Oh. The head of security. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, this is the first time a Holbrook has ever died in any of my games. They kill Stance. I'm so upset. Stance Holbrook is dead. Okay, okay. Um, um. Aaron. So true. <laughs> Sick beatbox. So true. Uh, Aaron. That one of the less intimidating names I've heard recently. Uh, <laughs> not me looking at that wall. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh my. Aaron what does that Braden. Say? Aaron Braden. Aaron Braden. <laughs> what are we thinking? Braden. Braden is not intimidating. It's not intimidating. Either. He doesn't have to. Have yes. Jester is the no, least Jess, intimidating. No, not Jay. Not Jay. We're pulling up a Victorian name generator. Oh, you want Victorian names? Well, look, I could give yeah, you like Benedict. Benedict. Yeah, that's Victorian. Yeah, that's Victorian. Yeah, that's Victorian. Yeah, that's Victorian. Benedict. Benedict sounds puntable. <laughs> Benedict Stone. Please. Troy Hooligan. Troy Hooligan. Oh, God. Okay. Hooligan. I love. Troy Hooligan. Guys, we're not getting past Hooligan. Is the I think head of security of Tangletown. Tangle Tangle. Tangle. He's a well-established character in the district, and he has 30 years of experience in criminal security after five years' experience as a blue coat. He sits there on the docks, personally overseeing every entrance and exit into Tangletown because he knows the stakes of today's festivities. He stands there with five heavily armed security officers behind him, uh, looking at the paper's identification and inspecting a crew of fishermen that have come in to get absolutely destroyed at the pork chop. Uh, you know, they inspect all their IDs, do a thorough pat down, and the men are let through into Tangle Town. And Hooligan, with his, I'm gonna say that he has a large steel plate that covers this quadrant of his face due to severe burns he received uh, on his last day as a blue coat. So he stands there with this big Ow. steel plate over this corner of his face, peering out. This eye has the down and up stitched, so it never closes. 
ever vigilant with his one remaining eye. Oh it is God. very red. Oh my God. <clears throat> Name, identification. Okay, so. Do you have any sort of load thing that could be taken that's like a false identity? Or is that. Am I thinking spider? I mean, I could take a document. Hmm. That or one, we could flash back and get documents. Make, I think we yeah. just flash yeah. back. Yeah, have, have fake flashback, documents. Flashback, we have fake identities prepared. I'll say one stress flashback and take documents, somebody. Uh, I'll do it. Excellent. Okay, how, where is everybody looking? I'm looking to take a trauma rather than die, so I'm just not going to be super shy about stress. Trauma. Let's go. I've got a wife to get back to. <laughs> I would documents, be... names, uh, uh, purpose of entry. Documents. Circus performers. All right. Has Alan Butcher gone soft? He thinks Blaze Obeys is gonna like a bunch of clowns. I don't know that I'd buy it. Would you like to roll something? <laughs> <laughs> so it's gotta be me. Anyone? I have oh. a die in sway. Anyone can help. Uh, command. Uh, I can't. Uh, but, oh, well, I have two dies in sway. Okay. If you want to sway, so and there's someone no way we could just have her like step in. You could step oh, in. Yeah, I was about to say. Up front and start talking to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just the door. Yes, we um. Yeah, you know. It's, oh my god, I can't speak. It's the circus. Yeah, you know, we are, we are, we are, we are. We got. Yeah, the circus. Circus, the circus, circus performers, you know. Circus in town. Alan, Alan Butcher. Yes. Come into town. The circus came into town. It's. What? And the heavenly play tonight. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't gotten your days mixed No, up? for Blazo Baz's birthday. For Blazo Baz's birthday. You don't know Blazo Baz's birthday? You want to stand? I'm so embarrassed. That today is the premier negotiations between the two most bloodthirsty gangs in the district, and you're coming in the jungle for them. You expect me to believe that? After negotiation. Celebration. It's true. It might be nice to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! <laughs> just because of that, you can roll. What are you rolling for me? God. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mark a stress to help you with that roll. <laughs> that is, I was hoping you would do that. Okay. Yep. Wait, no, no, no! Oh, wait! Oh. Actually, no, you no, can leave that was roll. That was I, said, I said no roll. Oh, you said no roll? I thought you said. You were given a help, which means you have an extra die. Oh, well, there was a six there, so do you want me to roll again? Yes. Okay. That's, that's precedent if I shout no. Fine. The sorry, roll sorry, 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 sorry. They were that's out of my hands. Okay. Before you that's make fine. a roll, I have to set position and a Yes, I forgot. That's yes, that is my bad. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Sorry, go. sorry, 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 sorry. So, I'm giving you standard risky. Okay. Would you like to go to desperate grades? No. Good call. You have to be done. Not yet. Please wait. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be upsetting. <laughs> Three ones. Okay, that's a six. Oh, six. Oh, Huge. There's still a six there. I don't need to Anyways. add a clock to the game. Yeah, <laughs> doing great. We're doing okay. Only a Febreze clock so far. <laughs> Only a Febreze clock. And he's gonna say, Right, I don't think Butcher's mentioned this to me before. Were you subcontracted? Did he do it direct himself? Direct. Alright, you're trying to get into the pork chop? Mm -hmm. Alright, you mind if I do a search? Get my men and make sure you're not smuggling through anything nefarious. All right, and so would somebody like to lead a group action to not get the likely numerous illegal things that you've got on you discovered before you're okay. let them? Does that sound like what kind of role you expect that would be? It'd be stealth. Um, Here's something. Trowel would make Trowel. sense. Trowel. I got two or finesse would Here's also a, make sense. A as, question. as we do like a now you see me two style. <gasps> this is a question that I might Whoa. ask a lot. But could I make it tinker to have disguised all of our weapons as innocuous clowning materials? I don't have anything you tinker. For a he has three, so group action. Yeah, Honestly, that would like... no, that wouldn't even need to be a group action. That would just be a two stress flashback to make that roll. Okay. Ooh. And then that's all your gear that's disguised as clowning stuff. That would be and very you get, good. And you get everyone passed. That feels like increasing returns. I think I'm going yeah. to do that. Yeah, so you said two stress flashback. Two stress. I'm giving you standard risky. Okay. Um, I am a very good tinkerer. I have three points in tinker. Lovely moment. So, oh, don't fail me now. Um, <laughs> I'm getting, I'm I'm getting, getting more flashbacks. Door. It's three dice. I agree. That's likely to be very good. Like probably. We're like, that's just, uh, mm. just uh, the part of our clown act. <laughs> I do own fine tinkering tools. Yes. 
Is there a way I could implement that <laughs> into I this role? Go ahead. Okay. So I could take the die from fine tinkering tools. Is that something I should mark load for on the score? Yes. Okay. I'd be worried because think about how many uh, bandoliers you need and think about the capacity to take armor. That's true, but yeah. tinkering tools is only one. And they may come up multiple times. And they may be Wait, useful that, again is later. Is that an italicized item or does it count it's, for the load? It does count for one load. Okay. I think I gotta do it. All right. I feel like and make the roll with four dice. So I got four dice. starts pulling scarves out of his pocket. Oh, At the end dice? of several scarves is a grenade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did the clowning Credits, uh, credits now, a real one engine to for that one. Your odds of failure are roughly one in 16. Go ahead and make the roll. Why would you say that? Now it's gonna happen. Oh, okay. That's four. Oh, my God. Barely. I didn't see the four. I was just like, but so it's a bad <laughs> Again, one. Yeah. I'm getting Never listen to me ever. Guys, this is not a fabulous start. It could be worse. Hey. But it could also be that. It got us in. It got us in. It got us in. And I'm getting flashbacks to to a certain shit on his gun. Yay, he's getting the sticky notes out. He's He's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna start a clock. Starting a clock is a very good first consequence. It makes sense. Yeah. It means nothing bad happens immediately. I only got, Bless try, to, heart. Yeah, try to be careful. There's only four left in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you more sticky notes. There's a four s- there, section I'm clock that four is... Packs. They're somewhere in my dorm. There's a four section clock that says uh, James uh, runs uh, out of clocks. There's <laughs> <laughs> a James's dorm party? <laughs> Going to simultaneously <laughs> anger the spirit wardens, the blue coats, the lamp blacks, I don't think we have to worry the, about the blue coats. The no, this we is the, don't have to worry about the blue coats. This, 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 this is, of course, the traditional sauce. Sauce clock. Oh. Al is angry. Oh. When this clock fills, Tangletown is aware of the intrusion, and they may be aware that it's you. Oof. Al is angry. No, just Al's gonna be so disappointed in <laughs> us. Al, Al and Butcher, you oh. fake fan. I thought fake it was Big fan. Al. No. Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake fan. I'm not a fake fan. fan. I'm a Big fake Al fan. Fake fan. No, you, you're a fake fan of Cars too. No. Ugh. That's now, a, is anyone a fan? To be fair, that's, 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 that that's a good thing to no be a fan. No one's pretending to be a fan of Cars too. Last night, I had a trivia thing. Is that the one with Nader? Now, <laughs> you, guys, you guys are all being searched. You're being patted down. And hooligans men are going drink. to go through your bags. <laughs> they're going to reach in. And they're going to see a like a clown horn. And the end of the horn is going to fall off. And the guard like looks down at the clatter. And looking up, there's like a syringe of concealed <laughs> chemicals sticking out of the ball. He's like, oh, sorry about that. And without seeing it, <laughs> clicks the two back together. Right? And they're going to find some clown equipment that's definitely not real stuff, right? Like, it's suspicious, it's a surprisingly crappy make and model. <laughs> You're not a clown, you don't know how to make level one clown gadgets. Follow our budget. <laughs> and so, Let us cook. you know, these security guys are going to whisper to their friends, they're going to gossip about this weird group of clowns that came in with a bunch of bullshit material, and they're going to be like, oh, we should follow that up and go back to their card game. The general suspicion of the place has been raised, and you are two eighths or one fourth of the way to being rumbled. And well, we're in. Hooligan's gonna say, "All right, let's get you to Allen and get cleared to get into the pork shop." And he's gonna say, "With me." And he's gonna lead you through corridors. Uh, Tangletown is an immensely crowded place. You are being pushed through cramped shanty walls and. You know, um, not everything is connected via Central Avenue. It is a poorly designed and planned area, as it started out as just a shipwreck that people built a city on top of. And so to get to some places, you have to, like, walk through casino floors and a barber shop and a public bathroom just to get there, right? It's, it's a nightmare to navigate, and you're beginning to think that getting out of here without a map is going to be pretty difficult. But Hooligan knows where he's taking you and walking your way through a casino floor with dozens of people throwing dice and cheering at their successes, weeping at their losses. He opens another door into like a little sort of pavilion, but you can't see the sky because there's a bunch of like, you know, riveted metal up there and there's like a dead tree in the middle growing in some ancient dirt, right? A couple benches around it. And then beyond that, the doors to the pork chop bar and grill. The Pork Chop Bar and Grill is the premier restaurant of Tangletown, and it serves the most affordable beer in town. Affordable for a reason, it is at least one-fourth seawater. Now, there are probably around 50 to 70 people sitting in the Pork Chop right now. It's absolutely swinging. And at least three dozen of those are representatives from either the Red Sash or Lamp Black Gangs, right? Like, there's this, there's, um, 
most of it's been roped or sectioned off, and there's like a dozen guards stationed around it. And there's one big table here where all the lamp blacks are sitting, one big table here where all the red sashes are sitting. Clev and Blazo are not yet present. And everybody is setting tables, Alan Butcher's polishing glasses by the dozens at the front of his bar, and sliding them over to his little orphan servant boy who picks the glasses and starts running them about to the various people. Permission to stop and analyze. Like, could we cut back to, like, planning phase and just, like, have me have conveyed an idea? Go ahead. Uh, so I'm just going to, like, tell you guys now, unless anyone has any better plans, in terms of getting out of here, if things, like, I, this might abandon subtlety, but if we need to, I could get a ghost going to try and, like, survey and find a way out and then lead us whenever we need to leave. That's cool oh, as fuck. Yeah. Like Brick! A ghost? Brick! Brick is definitely familiar with Tangled. Yeah, I was going to say, a okay, ghost okay, might okay, already yeah. That's know just a friend. Out. I don't even need to steer a ball. So, or a tune. I could just too. ask him. Uh, Hooligan is going to snap his fingers twice, pull out a little bell, ring it. Butcher's going to look up, and Hooligan's going to do like a bunch of complicated hand signals. And Butcher's going to, you know, he's like a, Alan Butcher is a little man, sort of balding, with, uh, uh, dressed a bit above his station in clothes that belonged to his grandfather and had been worn in equal parts by butchers and by moths in the wardrobe. Um, and he pushes his way through the crowds towards the front gate, and Hooligan's going to say, easy get clowns, clear them for entry. And he's going to turn, and he's going to walk. And Butcher's going to say, my clowns? Well, what the hell is this? What are you? Uh, <laughs> someone flashed back to have set this up with Butcher earlier. <laughs> All right, for, for contracting, you sent like, like a letter in the mail, and mm-hmm. so Butcher knows you're coming. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Yeah, I can do that. We can somebody, do wants to, somebody wants to mark a stress for applying for the job, you can. I can apply for oh. the time. We could do that, or we could try and convince him that one of... It's way easier to take one fair. stress and just let it be. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have a, send him a little letter. Let it have been uh, already arranged. All right, so Butcher. Because roll, it's going to increase the clock. So Butcher, Butcher's going to say, you know, I'm not sure I even remember hiring you guys. Uh, uh, Puck, anything about this in the mail? And his little servant boy, um, uh, Puck Oscar, who's got his eyes just mildly glowing in the air as he walks through. He's wearing like a, you know, like a black vest, white undershirt, and a little wrinkled bow tie. Uh, roughly 11 years of age, uh, and he's going to shuffle up and he's going to say, sure nothing will <laughs> Metaphorically or spookily glowing? Spookily. spookily. Puck Oscar oh, is, by all appearances, a whisper. That's uh, and he's going to shuffle up to his boss and he's going to say, oh, What is it, you old bastard? Uh, and he's going to say, <laughs> Puck, go through the mail. I need to check if we hired these carnies. And he's going to say, yeah, Right away. Um, and he's going to shuffle over to a back office, and he's going to disappear for a few moments, wave out, and he's going to say, we, we, We've been in contact with them by post. Uh, they're tonight's entertainment for Mr. Baz uh, and, and his birthday celebration. And Butcher's going to say, Oh, shit. All right, well, let's clear up the final, finer details then, shall we? Uh, please, step on into my office and let's talk things through. <laughs> so, don't right. hide him. so we got him. You guys are gonna be. Junior Heidi. What's up? Um. Uh. Can I? Yeah. No. I can't. Not even rumors that I might have heard. So we'll just you guys are going to walk into the room. That. We'll just be careful. You guys are going to walk into the room, uh, and Butcher is gonna, you know, sit there in his desk, a little ceiling fan whirring above him, uh, and uh, the rest of his security detail are gonna be sitting in here. Uh, leaning against the wall, you know, like just slowly, ambiently tapping a dagger is his enforcer, a uh, Miss Leona Wren, a renowned lurk that used to run Jovely Butcher back in their days of crime. Uh, she sits there, ambiently carving her name into this a side wall. This asked you what your previous character was. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> butchers are, the butchers are making an appearance here. Yeah. Puck Oscar takes a seat on the desk uh, and it's... leans forward, just playing paddle ball, sort of oh. ambiently with himself. Um, and the door closes with uh, the fourth occupant of the room sitting there, sort of uh, twisting a screwdriver into his mechanical arm. You are wearing a disguise, so he might not recognize you, but you went to college with this guy. <laughs> this is a Mr. Samuel Lefty Lorente. Ooh. He was a student of Sparkcraft who got expelled for the same prank that took his left arm. <laughs> He's sort of a legend a in Charter Hall videos. <laughs> He sits there with his long, greasy black hair, his patchy beard, and he's got some tattoos up his one remaining arm. They all sort of gaze into the room, and Butcher's going to say, So, what's the deal? Uh, we're here to entertain, of course. Uh, don't, you, don't you remember my letter? Uh, we, yeah, I remember your letter. Where are you from? 
<clears throat> the circus. Circus. That just came in town. Of course. Yes. Your We're circus traveling. performance. Yes. 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 You're with the, uh, what are they called? The, the, Co- the Kozlov brothers? So that true. That's yeah. us. Ones that are in town? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, are, what are your names? Give me some names to work with here. I, in fact, am one of the Kozlov brothers myself. Really? Yes. Give me your name. Fedya Kozlov. Fedya Kozlov. All right, you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm, an, I'm a newer person, so I'm not, of course, one of, one of the founders here. Um, my name is uh, uh, Brianna. Brianna, okay. My name is William. Hey, Will. <laughs> Oslo. Oslo. And let me get this straight. You contacted me by post. You'd be hired to perform for the birthday of Mr. Blazo Baz. You are aware that tonight is a gang meeting between the two most hunted individuals in the district. We heard a little something. You are aware of our intense security protocol. Oh, of course, yes. We, we appreciate all of that, of course. Yeah. I don't want to get shot. Exactly, yeah. For mm-hmm. our protection, too. So we'll, that's all good with us. And your purpose is tonight is just to entertain. Purely? Yes. It's what we do best. It'll lighten the tension. <laughs> and the boys outside. They thoroughly searched you and found anything suspicious? Thoroughly searched, nothing suspicious. Just, you know, wow. some entertainment material. Everybody loves us. You boys are solid, solid liars. But it's easy to see from them. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> they made the same thing. It's almost like looking in a mirror. So let's cut the shit. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? He's a slime with the ability to like the power. Right? Right? Oh, I've got the same this, this was that character's oh, power back okay. in the last yeah. campaign. No meta Oh, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> no meta No meta And Alan Butcher is going to lean forward. That's hilarious. And he's going to say, so let's cut the shit. And um, Lorente is going to say, oh, fuck. And he's going to crank his arm and a little like tube is going to pop, like a pneumatic tube is going to pop up over the top with like a wire running out of it, and he's like, you know, ready if things go south. Yeah. Um, and Puck Oscar is gonna, you know, drop his paddle ball and, and get for a little switchblade and just switch Aww. it out the wrong way. Maybe. Switch, and switch it out the right way and then get really angry. <laughs> and uh, Leona Wren does not move at all. She's just standing there still ambiently carving her name into the wall. And Butcher, unfazed by the situation, is gonna say, let's cut the shit. What are you here for? Can we flash back and analyze? Yeah, flash back. Okay, so uh. say something falls apart, because our <laughs> lies have like a 30% success rate, right? Yeah, so there's a bit of a record. We can fall longer, back and more. have like a second cover story of like, maybe we're like, we, we know that there's people who want uh, Blazo and Miley are dead, and we're like trying to like sneakily kind of subterfuge that. And like we're trying to be subtle because I don't know whoever it is. We can't like, lie to him. The guy sees oh, through lies. Oh, he can't yeah, see lies. He can see anything else. So we have, to tell, we have to tell him the truth. We have to tell him, tell him like and I, I'm not full truth. Where it's like nothing we say is a lie, but not, not full everything. Truth. This or, guy's been in the crime game a while. This is we, hard to do. So that. so what if we what if we ask him? We we say it's for um to end the war between the two. That is our job. Ooh, Ooh. interesting. (laughs) That's a very interesting (laughs) line. Back to the present. Let's cut the shit. What are you here for? We're here to stop the war between the Lamp Blacks and the Red Sashes. Okay. And how do you intend to do that? Crap. (laughs) 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 Yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah, 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 we're, we're, we're going to throw a little we're gonna surprise. We're going to throw a little surprise. You're going to throw a little surprise? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a stinker. <laughs> it's true. You understand that I run a business here, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. I, y'all very clearly aren't circus performers. I don't even know who I'm dealing hey, with hey, at this hey, rate. I can, I can juggle some knives. It's feeling to me like you're going to do some violence. I mean, oh. very clearly my boys didn't thoroughly search you. We're you going to talk. some suspicious <laughs> items on you. You're blatantly lying about that. Yeah, take all the sip you need. Ah, <laughs> uh, Puck, get get these for a drink. 
Heck yeah! Thanks, yeah, Puck. is gonna hand you all what? bottles of <laughs> bottles of Dos beer. What are your Where's thoughts your on this war? I mean, I don't like bloodshed, but I like customers, and you know, the more teeth there are spilling in the streets, the more folks like to eat in Tangletown. I can't exactly compete with those health-inspected restaurants in actual society, now can I? What if we could get you a little upgrade? A little upgrade? What are you talking about? Say Puck we- eats cigarettes. <laughs> what? He does. <laughs> does he? Yeah. Oh, so Puck's gonna, so little, Puck's gonna, gonna eat a cigarette in the corner. Like... <laughs> what did you have in mind? Firstly, what's your Oh, you want to watch that? Oh, no, never mind. Let's cut the shit. Theodore Kozlov is still- Kozlov is still correct. Is your last name Kozlov? Yeah! Did I accidentally- Yes, you did! <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. You just happen to share the last name. Yeah. Of yeah. Well, when you said the Kozlov brothers, I was like, I could yeah, make that's uh, this could be real good. Fyodor Kozlov. Oh. Uh, and you are? Oh. Uh, uh, allow me to refine a theory I'm working on here. Hamlock. Oleander. <laughs> uh, any reaction from the guy who went to school with that guy? Oh, fuck! Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, yeah! Lorente! <laughs> Lorente's gonna look up and he's gonna say, Hello, Mr. Kozlov. Hey, Hello, Mr. Kozlov. Hey, 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 Mr. Fleming? McFleming! Yeah! Man, fuck that guy. Man, fuck that guy. Do you remember when we lit his house on fire? That was great! Oh, uh, that was one of the first times I ever made fire oil. And Man, that takes me back. And Butcher's gonna recline in his chair, which he is putting a hell of a lot of trust in right now as it creaks beneath his frame. And he's gonna say, So I've got the menagerie as entertainment tonight. <laughs> so, literally all in cloud bar. Fyodor, pretend that I'm the stupidest motherfucker in Crow's Foot, and that I don't understand precisely what you mean as a group of assassins by ending the war with a surprise to <laughs> Would you walk me through that? You want to see a card trick? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see how I got these cards? <laughs> Dude, what? Oh, you're dressed as a You're all in cheap leather like you don't I'm look the like joker. actual clothes. I'm the joker. I'm going to see a magic trick. My father. My father. A circus performer. Wait, a circus performer. Or Lazo Bands. We have a little job we have to do. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. And it will indeed. End the war Which between one the level. Killing? What? Which one are you killing? Oh God! <laughs> Don't even tell me. Tier zero ass assassins. Hey! Hey! Wait! <laughs> okay, okay, let me run this through. I'll kill people. Are you here to kill Blazo Bass and my Lyric Clef tonight? I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Kill. No. Hopefully. Definitely Blasopas. Good lord. <laughs> I, 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 Lorente, you're looking kind of relaxed as our gunman here. Can you hold your arm or something? Yeah. And then, <laughs> oh, and yeah, and Lorente are like still like. Yeah, you guys are like, he's like, oh, yeah, so right. how did you engineer that? That's really cool. And like, <laughs> he's going to go like, Tch -tch -tch, and then he's going to keep talking to you. Yeah, but like, like, Oleander is like standing. Mark Oscar is going to spit out a wad of cigarettes. cigarettes? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And reach for his, he's real proud of this one. Reach under a floorboard for a second switchblade. <laughs> oh. Oleander is standing so kind of cute. like next to where the gun isn't even pointing at him, just like pointing at the different bits of it. Like, oh, that's really cool. It's like, thanks, thanks. I added that one recently. Uh, I got thrown out of a window by an explosion. Ah. So, you know, okay. Can Samandria go sneak over by Leo and, t and comment on her tattoos? <laughs> so you, all right, yeah. And, and uh, she is literally not going to speak with you. No. <laughs> like, fair. Samandria is going to, or no. <laughs> Leona is going to fully ignore you. Like, she's interested in her name being carved into that wall and killing when Alan Butcher gives the order. And God, does she hope he will. So Butcher is sort of sitting back here. 
Uh, and he's like, so I don't know, honestly, where to go from here, but to ask you to leave my bar with escort because. Amy, I hope this is the part where you cut him in. Yeah, yeah we gotta can, cut him in. Yes. We, th- that's what I was going for. Yeah. That's what I was going for, yes. I don't think that's. Necessary. This job is going to get us a sizable amount of. What is it, coin, right? Coin, coin. not gold. Coin. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Killing these two, I mean, yeah, that's gonna run you a pretty penny, but. Yes, but. I mean, anyone able to afford that would go for better killers, I assume. What if you well, were. Killers. A uh, better killers. Talking. I killers. Mean, 24 coin. Wait, no, hang on. Did you just say you're going to give him No, he said that's how much we were. No, that's just how, much, no, how much the job was for. Oh. Look. And he knows oh, that's why. What if... The only person in town with that kind of bank to throw around is... Oh, shit. What if we, we cut some little deal? Someone with big plans. What if... Someone with deep pockets. You were all, what if you got a little cut and were the sole caterer for a wedding... <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> a very lucrative I, wedding. I run an honest business here. Is I can't honest? have two of my highest profile customers murdered. Do you have any idea how much they're spending on drinks? How about, a, how about a, the it. most high profile person? Only gives business to you. It's true. Let's name the bidder here. We're talking about Lissa. That's right. Mother of <laughs> God. All right, this is pretty bad. His fiance, I will add. You don't so want to. Oh yeah, you don't want to piss her you off. You are asking me to be an accomplice to murder. No, you in just, order you're to, to allow just to turn the blind eye. In okay. order to allow a crime boss to assert absolute dominance over the district, and you're offering me, in exchange for this heinous act. A customer? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> and a lot of money. A very, a of money. very wealthy and customer. A, and, and a very and powerful ally without to two you people personally. Suppressing, you know, more people come in. Spend Make no their mistake. Money however they like. Wait, what the fuck is my voice? Make no mistake. The world is about to change. This will decide what side of history. <laughs> this one's scary. <laughs> <laughs> this one's real scary. Okay. You should see me without the makeup. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Uh, now, help action! Now, whew, Alan Butcher is an honest man. I'm giving you limited risky on this roll. Would you like to go to desperate standard? Limited risky, we fail, we get escorted out. Um, desperate? I feel like there's... Desperate like there's is beat. they attack us, I think. Well, remember, you succeed on your persuading Alan on a 4, 5, or 6 being your highest die. That's true. You just suffer a desperate consequence on anything that's not a six. Desperate's a lot. And desperate's what, a but lot. limited is not a lot. And we haven't even limited seen the targets not. yet. What could we expect from a limited success? A limited success is Alan is kind of convinced, but he's really apprehensive. Mm-hmm. We'll just have to mm-hmm. cater to him, and we'll just have to play careful, which is what I'd like us to do anyway. So you're going to stick with risky limited, or you're going to desperate standard? The dice are in your hands. As you say, the desperate tears. standard. Go ahead. Help action. Yeah, help action. How I'm going to stress. stress for Wait. Okay. Action. Okay. 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 If I, I. Oh dang it! So this, with him like looking into a mirror. He knows if you're lying. If you say something but, untrue, but so. But we've already made which our means argument. I you just have to get. Because my other one is if I'm in a, when I'm using a disguise, to deflect suspicion. You're not doing that. I didn't think so, You're so I can't use that. that. No. But okay. you are making a sway roll. You're getting two die plus a third from Casper. From thing. Okay. Cool. So you've got three dice here. Your odds of succeeding or uh, of failing are one in eight. Yeah. Okay. Don't say that. And you, it was, okay. Stop that. And this is desperate standard. Desperate roll. So on anything other than a six, you suffer a desperate consequence. Oh. I've, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to pick the right ones. Okay. We'll Remember that we can, we can resist consequences separately from ones that are trying to kill us. So if the desperate okay. consequence is very we desperate, go. we can roll resist. Here we go. Big money. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Why'd you go to desperate? Alan Butcher is going to say, He's going to look you in the eyes, and he's going to smile real big, and he's going to say, deal. And you're going to know, and he's going to know you're going to know that he's lying. No. Oh, fascinating. And Lefty Lorente is going to say, that's my cue. Uh, I, I would, hmm. And he is going to shoot you in the spine, and you're going to take a level no, three harm, gunshot wound, 
Would you like to resist? Uh huh. Please Maybe. go ahead and roll. Uh, combat has been initiated yes. in this office. I would like to. <laughs> oh, I got some skirmish. <laughs> oh, uh, a resist is what? <laughs> Uh, well, this is prowess resist, so you're rolling two dice and suffering six minus the higher die stress. Crap. What would a spirit mask get me against whatever? Like, what, it's whatever. What spirit it makes mask? it harder for a ghost to possess you. Okay, so I'm going to save that. You suffer two I don't know what this okay, guy's going to do. I would like to use my fine tinkering tools to uh, break my, my old school friend's arm in a way that might hurt him and will definitely Can disable his weapon. Can okay, I hold on, hold on, one at a time. You're gonna, so left ear Lorente fires, and you're like jumping on his arm with your tinkering Yeah, I would like to, stop the gun. having just an analyzed it <laughs> okay. thoroughly, I would like to do a thing where <laughs> ideal circumstance is it backfires in a way that might knock him out of the fight. I'll Goal you- is it might stop him from being able to use that weapon again. Man, that's a hard thing to do in combat. I'll give you limited risky if you'd that's like to go to desperate good. standard. It's a tinker roll with four dice, so I hit those. Desperate standard seems to be the way to go. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna roll desperate. Woo! I have an action after that. Yes, you do. I have an action after that. What are you going for? Uh, oh I'm boy. gonna try to take Puck Oscar hostage. <laughs> 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 You're gonna try and take who hostage? Puck Oscar. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're tinkering. Here we go. How many people are in this room Sorry, that are opposing us right now? There's four. Alan Butcher. Lorente with the robo arm, uh, the kid, and uh, the, the yeah. look, Leo. I took two stress. I don't take damage. Do I take damage? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, oh, you we downgrade the, the level through to a uh, level. We downgrade the level three to a level two. You have suffered gunshot wound. Cute. All right, I would like to <laughs> disable that weapon. Go ahead and disable that weapon. That's a six. That's baby. a six. Oh, no consequence. <laughs> the gun is taken offline, and Lorente is going to say. Wrong arm. I've been four weeks on that. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> He's very drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump at uh, at Puck and try to knock the, the blades out and and grab one and, and put it to his throat. Okay. And, you know, we wanted to stop. Now Puck is a fairly experienced whisper at the age of 11, mm-hmm. so you are attempting to what are you attempting? disarm him? Disarm yeah, and disarm hostage. and yeah. Hostage, okay. Basically. I'm gonna give you standard risky. Would you like to go to desperate grade? Like Desperate consequence, he's probably gonna like stab you real bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I kind of think this is important though, because this could make everyone like stand still and like, because like, I feel like Al would not allow. Yeah, him. you might. Uh, yeah, Al, so, honest man, might. He might, I don't think. Yeah, he, he, he yeah, might change his tactics. Yeah, he might change his tactics. Yeah, his yeah. He might change um, his tactic so I have sorts. three in skirmish. I kind of, I kind of, taking a hostage grace. feels grace. like a grace. desperate grace. and in fact, this yeah. is desperate. Yeah. Grace. Yeah. If you, if you are using one of your own weapons, that's a plus one because oh. it's a fine weapon. Um, but the action is if you were stabbing Puck, I would uh. say so. No, oh, not, please I'm don't not stab Puck. Not yet. Please don't stab Puck. All right, all right. Uh, we do not negotiate with terrorists. We are terrorists. Give me a six, or you suffer a desperate consequence. No married. Yeah, we gotta make it for love. Oh, that's a five. Uh, All right. okay. But you are going to suffer a desperate consequence okay. as a result of this action. So, you are going to, you know, knife forward, and Puck Oscar is like, finally. <laughs> and so his eyes are going to go blue, and he is going to sort of phase up about a foot into the air, and he is going to plunge his knife into your jugular, and then the second into your skull. Uh, oh. You are going to suffer a level four harm pucked. Would you? <laughs> Good, I got pumped. That feels like a consequence. Might be a feels like a consequence that re- 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 um, just to get that negates out. the success of the roll. Oh, it, it kind of does. Being killed. Being killed would negate the I'll success what, of taking I'm a hostage. I'm gonna give you a level three harm. Pox. Extremely damaged, and oh. part of the fight is being heard outside. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we will divvy the harm such that it does not negate the success, but is still desperate. Oh, big brain. That was big brain. Yeah. So that was a big brain move. Level, yeah. You suffered a level can three I, harm, severe knife wound. Would you like to resist that? Can I put on armor? I yeah, take two level for armor. And then, armor. Is that, what does that do? That's going to downgrade it to a it's level a, one harm. Yeah, slash. Okay, I'm going to do As he's going to gonna shift, you're going to dodge out of the way, and he's just going to... Flick into your shit. Wait, what is it? Just, just slashed. Slashed. I'm just gonna say pucked. Pucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's way funny. So Puck okay, gets his knife like and, and you're like, all right, kid. Boom! You knock the knife out of his hand. He brings in the second. Boom! You knock that one out against the wall. Shout, hey! And the fight stops. Nobody move. Lorente is lamenting his arm. Everyone looks at you and Butcher's like, God damn it. 
child soldiers. You get what you pay for. Let's all <laughs> calm down. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. But true. Talk. All right. So how how we uh, convince us to uh, to to calm down? You don't put that kid down. You all die horrible, painful deaths. That's not even up to me. That's Hooligan. He loves a good flame. So do I. I've seen what hell looks like, and it looks like me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Scary part is I know he ain't lying. <laughs> These, like lines. Guy a lot. These lines. These lines. <laughs> All right. Give me a terms. We're at a crossroad here. I want my boy alive. And you don't want 70-odd armed thugs to come in here and break every bone in your body and leave you calling out for death that you're not going to get. So let's talk things through. Level-headed. Sounds fair. Um, so uh, maybe you could uh, just renegotiate those terms with us. Maybe consider our offer a little bit more. Here's Look. the thing. If we don't make it out, if we don't succeed, we die anyway. Your job is done for you. Exactly. You have very little to lose. Let me get this straight. Your argument is that you are incompetent assassins and that you are likely oh, enough to fail are. in your job. No, yes. No, 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 that no, it no. is worth Bruh. it for me to accept this deal. <laughs> yes. That is hilarious. No, this is a win-win situation for you, though. And I cannot believe the incongruity in the fact that he's not lying and somehow at the same time, neither are you. That's fucked. <laughs> okay. That's us. That's us. <laughs> Let's all calm down and roll some dice. Okay. <laughs> which ones have not failed me? This is sway problem. Yeah, this I know. I'm just sway. trying to figure out which dice has not failed me. Puck might bite you. I see a health action <laughs> over there, I feel like. like. What? I feel he like dies I... if you don't let us do this. Well, I was going to say, I see a health action from her on oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, I will, That's I will what do I mean. that. Ooh. Can I um, yell at Puck to spit out this, like, cigarette he's been chewing on? I thought he's already spit him out. I heard, all, yeah, I heard at one point a wine a cigarette in his mouth. Spit that out. Um, what's the, what's right the, now. what am I? Did you take I'm going to give one? you yeah. okay. standard risky. You want to go to Desperate Great? Mm. No, I don't really want to. You don't really want to uh, go to great. Desperate Great? I feel like we, we go. <laughs> You don't, you is don't this one of those situations? Okay, because like, the really gun good. is disarmed, but the problem is if it's there's desperate still two other and then, like, there's, there's other, also, there's 70 people out there. There's also Leo who... Oh! Great, great. Puts us right back where we started. Who's Leo? Leo uh, is the Leo, is the lurk assassin. The one who's that carving into the... Am I allowed to say she what her She hasn't done is. anything yet. No. <laughs> you would not know, dude. I wouldn't. No, I'm not. You should have done more research. I'm going to leave it at risky standard. Okay. Maybe a standard risky roll. How many papers. dice is it? Devil's Three. Bargain, Mick Fleming is here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that! Uh, that Devil's Bargain, Big Fish. fish. <laughs> that is actually big very fish. applicable. It's a huge fucking fish. Big. Okay, here Star we go, y'all. Star clock, big fish. Standard okay, risky. Okay, come on, come on. Standard risky. <sighs> Make the roll. Oh, oh my god! No! That's the second time. I need to stop rolling. Y'all need okay. to, like, yeah. take we these need to from stop me. Our butcher is going to look you in the eyes and he's going to say... He's gonna say deal again, and then I'm gonna get stabbed by Leo. Yeah, I think I just got a better counter offer. And uh, suddenly, no! out from your arms, Leona Ren is, I forget what the ability's called. You have it on your sheet. It's, yeah, um, she's going to Ghost activate Veil. Ghost Veil, and her arm is gonna go incorporeal as she lunges forward through your body and goes corporeal again to grab Puck Oscar and pull him out from no. under the knife and just Leo shove loves, him Leo under the desk. Puck. She turns, draws both of her serrated blades, and it's combat. She's gonna go for you first. I she had an action scared. before oh, she, really? like, it was like him yeah. and her. So, uh, and I was probably thinking of going for the assassin anyway. I would like to use the Tempest Leo's ability to day. push myself and. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I do Ghoul Beam, except that's not my brand. You do. Things. You do. My brand, brand is, okay, Breathing Can Fire is cool. I was thinking what just like saying? grabbing and igniting my hand. That's incredibly cool. All right, I'm thinking that this sounds like it could be desperate, great. You're going up against a very skilled assassin. This and is you the want thing I can do to push myself. 
Can yes. So I'm still rolling. For this. <laughs> yes. What am I rolling? You're you're gonna roll uh, probably probably a two because you're using your magic. Huge. And I'm thinking desperate great. Can we agree on desperate great because you're doing something really cool against a real dangerous person? That we can just yeah, I'll take, take that like, for. I only get two habit. die here. Yes. Just the fact that I'm using an ability, <laughs> that, like a bit trash. the push yourself does oh, not no also idea. get you oh. an extra die. Mm-hmm. What is spirit being? Um, it, I think it, it wards off ghosts. Oh. Whoa, 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 that's what it does to ghosts. <laughs> wow, Got it. Wow. You like to downgrade to safe, useless. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalyptic. Devil's disastrous. bargain begins here. Devil's bargain. The bill coats have been brought that's on what us. That's what I. That's what I was thinking. I'll take that. Like, All right, you have a third die. Do we? Oh, bill hooks. Oh crap. Is that, wait, let's oh, actually talk through let's that. Let's talk about that. Yeah, though. I don't think we need big in here. That we puts more. But I get to do the voice. That does <laughs> put more bad guys. Talk about it. In I'm gonna fill my fruit punch with water. Okay. That does put more people in the. Uh, fuck. Alice angry. To try and fuck me up. Clock. Oh, Actually, that's not a devil's bargain. That's, that's happening. happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god. That's his little power, so he's the end. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can Never do. Never take my advice, says engineer. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> we could use the bonus die, but Biggin is a problem. I feel like we need to just like stun them because these are these are these are people. I have that not had a chance James. to test my luck. This Who knows? That's true. Are, are, I just, just need a bubble four to. Not want to okay, what happens when I burn this girl? She probably dies, or is She's if you succeed, you're going for the. I am if I'm going for a kill, the then she, well, she, then she gets killed, or she surely she can res- Oh yeah, she has resist because she's a scoundrel. If I succeed, then she's not going to have gone incorporeal because I would have negated the success. I think a great she's going to resist. I think a great success is she stops fighting us. Take a oh yeah, great success. That great success. We're desperate. Great. We're at you desperate. Didn't give great. me risky standard. I can't not yeah. do desperate. Yeah, we're in yeah, desperate. Yeah, I know you have to do desperate. I think it's. I think our. I think our effect we can expect need... is. Where the question is, are we taking the devil's bargain? Probably not. Um, All right. So, Coleman. So. Have you decided to accept or reject my devil's bargain? I think we should. Not. I feel like it's probably uh-uh. not. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. Um. I think we're gonna reject the devil's bargain for the better. <laughs> Sorry, of the but uh, I know. Yeah. Of the bullshit. Oh, but think it. I'll offer it again later. Yeah. <laughs> You bet your just walks in. in. More desperate Someone situation. says devil's bargain. Time for some B. Ramp fun. Uh, uh, Grandpa devil's bargain Luigi. Pop calls Grandpa Luigi. Does that mean anything to you? It does, but no. Grandpa <laughs> 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 Luigi, get him in here anyway. Please. Uh, I love that James' Luigi. water is slightly pink. Okay. Mm, disgusting. <laughs> you know make a two die roll. Desperate great. Desperate um, great. Yeah, it's desperate great. That's the. Thing. This is what's happening. Ooh, okay. See if we can give her a level four harm of branded. I'm gonna throw up. Dirty die. Dirty oh die. 50 50 success. That's a two for the folks at home. Let's use the fire Ooh, die. Fire die. Oh, that's good. Five. Five. Okay. Success, Oof. but level four harm. So, Leo. Ren steps forward with her knives. O'Manon pushes his way to the front. The two are standing there in, in the middle of the office. He lights his hand up. Ren smiles. Time for a challenge. She steps forward, casts Broman in like slow motion, throws his hand out right into her head, and just flesh peeling away, burning a handprint into her skull. She's loving it and just steps forward, and while he's sitting there, burning flesh to bone, she just into his gut, knife, 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 Just like ripping his innards out. Slowly, it goes from like clothing to flesh to blood to his small intestine being dragged in and out of his guts as just over and over and over again, the blades flick in and out. <laughs> Carno <laughs> says, but please, please suffer level four harm, rended. Rended! I wow. But I got a wife to get back to. Would you like to resist, my friend? I would it's love like to resist. That's going to be prowess resist. Let's see. Uh, oh, I need to mark the two stress it took me to do this. Yes, you do. Wow. So there's a chance oh, I just shit. leave here. There is, unless you'd like to... Oh, wait, armor. what am I... For armor. Uh, okay, yeah, oh, I'll, yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, okay, what, what would I be rolling, by the way? That would be, be prowess. prowess. That's, That's two prowess. dice. Prowess. Okay, two dice. And, uh, honestly, I like my odds, but Wait, I want to just have those odds that I like to use later. I haven't taken any load yet. Uh, two for armor. I can still get spirit bottles and throw someone's dead wife at them. Yeah. So. Ren is going to just. Take two stresses. Stabbing, stabbing. You're going to suffer. I can do that. 
Because then I can kind of confuse them a little bit. It feels like it's got to be level three. Really? You say that, but we're doing two more boss fights. <laughs> I mean, it is also a suicide. I was about to say, this That's is a suicide true. mission. Can you give me a level so. three out the gate? I need help. I haven't been playing super strong. That's true, yet. yeah. Need help means you're not allowed to, like, keep doing stuff. I'm going to give you... armor. Because you ticked armor and I have been treating armor as stronger, I'll give you a level two injury. Slashed. Slashed. Rended. Rended. Yeah. Keep it at rended. Yeah, keep Still rended because that rules. So she's going to stab, 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 and eventually the heat's going to be too much. Her hair ignites, and she's just unconscious, slumps over, crashes her head into the desk. You're sitting there, heavily breathing, as Lorente is going to slam you in the jaw with his I like this style. I thought I'm I broke taking. that. <laughs> so, you're going to suffer a level 2 harm, broken jaw. Would you like to resist that? Uh, yeah, I'll resist that. Go ahead and roll prowess to resist. Uh, this is prowess to die. We'd love to see it. Please, God. That's a six. Oh, there you, go. okay. you suffer Ooh. zero stress. Ooh. You're going to suffer a level one harm bruise jaw. As just, bish, you get punched and a tooth flies out. And Laurentia says, that bit still works. Uh, and we go back to the crew. The I'd like to fix continues. that. Okay, where's Puck at? Where, Puck Oscar Leo's is like under the desk. Oh. Round two. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> give me a thing. I, I use my uh, cane sword that I have so lovely brought along. Who are you slashing with? Uh, who's closest to me? Uh, I'm gonna say probably Lorente. Yeah, him. Lefty! <laughs> Go ahead and hit Lefty. Okay, with... That sounds like skirmish. Yeah, okay, no yeah, way it around sounds, it. Yeah. Oh. What do you have in skirmish? One. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna give you desper- or standard risky. Would you like to go to desperate? Isn't that a fine you wanna, wait, weapon? You wanna, you wanna throw, oh, fine wait, weapon! You wanna throw Extra me your assassins. Extra die. You Would you like to throw me your fine weapon and I do because I have a three in skirmish. Uh, this is Fyodor hasn't acted in combat yet. This oh, is Fyodor's okay, go. Theory. Fyodor does have to. All right. Do you wanna just use a gun instead? Is that, is that oh, change anything? Yeah. No, it doesn't change anything. I've got the same. And the cane sword's cooler. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to need like it later. You're desperate great. Uh, you're gonna, on a success, you're knocking Lorente out of this fight. With a great success. Great success. Could I love desperate great. Love Gambler's desperate great. fallacy. It's got to work. Yes, yes. All right, yes. desperate great. Make the roll. Uh, okay. Uh, devil's bargain. Biggin's here. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Okay. Here. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> So, you step forward with your cane sword <laughs> oh, and thrust it into Lorente's chest, but he flicks it away with his arm. Right. And you guys are there, back God. and forth, he fencing him with his mechanical arm. <laughs> You're a good sword fighter, but he's got the relentless march of a robot and just keeps outpacing you and finally knocks the sword out of your hand and is going to bash you in the side of the head. Desperate, desperate consequence, level three harm. Skull shaft. Would you like to resist? Ooh, yeah. I really Prowess wanted resist, to please. break that armor. <laughs> Prowess. Time for or armor. Or armor. Or armor. Oh, armor does go crazy. No, armor does go crazy, it's, but I kind of like kinda need things. I kind of want to save it. I'll just resist. Yeah. Okay. That's six. 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 Okay, Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that earlier? Six, six, a minute ago. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna downgrade you to a. What do you think? Level one, level two. Uh, I'd level say one. level one. <laughs> Personally. Roll a die. On a one or a two, it's a level two. Level one. <laughs> okay. You suffer a level one harm. Okay. Uh, There's ears. one thing she what? can do. Ringing ears. It's roll of three. Ears. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Left hook. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, obviously, yeah, left hook from lefty. Left, left hook. Okay. Um. Lefty's like breathing. He's gonna like standing there. You know, Casper's uh, gets them all tooth knocked out. Slashes on him. You know, you've just been knocked down for a second. You're getting back up. Everyone's sitting there breathing heavily, and Lorente's like, all right, come on, bring on the next guy! And he's going to uh, take a swig from his flask that he's got embedded in his I'd like arm. to, while he does that, while he swings, yep, appear absolutely. behind him and jab him with a needle or something. Absolutely. What are you sticking oh. him with a needle of? Uh, probably, let's see, what do we like? Yeah, we don't Skull really fire, know. standstill, drown powder. I got options. Drown powder? Drown powder sounds sick. Like let's he just, like, lungs powder. fill with... Like you just drown. It does. It, it does make you drown. <laughs> Wait. Oh, is this gonna kill? Uh. Gonna if he of? drowns, I mean, it like. Might. Depends no, on how safe. sturdy his constitution is, I guess. But uh, he could be okay Uh-oh. if, like, you know, you he gets to a medic now? in a certain amount of time. Anyway, I am gonna jab him with it. All right. I'm Sorry, this buddy. Is finesse. Uh, this is finesse, I presume. Uh, 
I'd, I'd love for it to be Tinker. I I'll settle for... I'll overturn the start of the round. I'd like for it to be Skirmish. Skirmish makes sense. I'm going to give you okay. standard risky. Would you like to go to Desperate Great? Desperate Great. Is this something that gives you a uh, plus to die Desperate. because of your task tools? Do you get to die from any ability, like Venomous or handling out chemicals? I could use Fortitude here to take that die. Because my... This sounds like a good time to use it because you guys are losing this fight currently. Yeah, my Skirmish is just one die. Mm. Normally. Yeah. Are we losing right now? It's, then, three to, it's three to four. It's three to one. Oh, yeah, no, it is three to four. You're winning the numbers game, but you're losing a lot of resources. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we need, we need to save resources. So I really got to sting this guy. Um, uh, okay, we're going for Drown Powder. I am going to expend my special armor. Ooh, and do what with it? Uh, to use my ability Fortitude, which enables me to push myself when handling alchemicals. Um, which is what I am doing. Um, so that gives me uh, a free bonus hours. die with no stress. Okay. Let's go. And so you have, you have two dice currently. Would anyone like to spend a stress on a health back? I was about to say, was it, could that. like my like slashing at him? You've directed his attention this way. Yeah. yeah. You didn't get your. You didn't get disarmed. You provided a distraction. Yes. Take a stress. Merry I will Christmas. take that die. Ooh. And again, you get a die for fine weapon. This is uh, weapon. It's, I don't it's think a alcohol. syringe counts as a weapon. Come on, it's got needles! Um, I will let you, I'll let you take a one stress flashback to have coated a dagger in one dose of this stuff. I will take that, because that's an extra die for one stress. It's, is, it's economically viable, which is and I think I can give it to you because it makes sense given your class. Yeah, given, given all the holding you, this is... Uh, I think it's gotta be because we need to knock him out of the fight. Yeah, he will be knocked out of the fight if you get anything other than a 1, 2, or 3 on your highest die. The odds of which are 1 in 16. So, I'm marking a point of EXP and prowess. I've got four dice. Devil's Bargain begins here. No! <laughs> Is always there. Gosh, I'm just like, we've been, like, 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 rolls. It's time to roll. Okay. Devil's Bargain, the King Sword breaks. No! Uh, I need it! It's time to roll. Six! Oh! And three failures! That's a one, one, two, and six for those that can't see it due to the lighting. Well, that's actually pretty clear. Oh! Dude. Alright, so you step forward, Thank stick him with the dagger. Oh, oh, oh. He starts like frothing at the mouth and kicks Sorry, over. Buddy. Oh, he like pours some vodka down his throat, is horrified to see that it's not making its way through his esophagus. <laughs> Lorente is kicking, screaming, sputtering. Dying, Puck Oscar is going to charge out from under the desk, and Butcher's going to grab him by the collar and pull him back, and he's no, going to say, "All right, all right, all right." Jesus, as half as both of his main enforcers have been taken out, and all that's left is him and the kid. He's going to say, "Oscar, go save Lorente. Look, you proved yourself very good at your job. Okay, we're good assassins. We were telling you this. No, we were telling him we were not good assassins." Well, we're telling you that, that now. <laughs> That's something to do. I'm sitting in my office. I'm doing some paperwork. And some carnies presented a very good case that they should perform tonight. He's lying. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. And he's, he's going to say, as far as I'm concerned, you're not going to have any more trouble for me tonight. Is he lying? That's the devil's honest truth. And it is. Oh. Alan Butcher... He's done. Doesn't want, he's like, at this Step point, his yeah. enforcers are down. He's a fat old guy, and you've <laughs> already beaten the kid once. Yeah. He's convinced that this is a losing fight, and he doesn't want any of his boys to die. Yeah. So he's going to say, I'm going to do some taxes. That's a, baby. That's a lie. I'm going to evade some taxes. <laughs> yeah. Is that guys, a lie? <laughs> yeah. No, he's going he's he's to evade the it. shit out of those taxes. <laughs> and he's gonna as say, he should. He's going to say, as a fellow businessman, go do your jobs. We can help with those taxes Fuck. later. I'd like to personally apologize. Uh, stop helping the red for a bit and get me my abacus. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize to Puck on the way out. Puck's gonna Sorry, say, buddy. I'll kill you next time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, point to, <laughs> I point to Lorenzo. It's just like, just, just one dose of like, alcohol has to be alright. Oh, oh, and he's gonna slap his head like, of course, yeah. and reach into his arm and take out a flask of it. <laughs> and tsh! Yeah, he'll be okay. He's oh. alright. <sighs> Sorry we had to meet under these circumstances, but it's good to see you. Are going to exit out onto the floor of the floor. Oh, so that's, ah! a, that's the first obstacle overcome. This oh, is, yeah, this is sort of a suicide mission. Straightens his, straightens his 
clown. Chess, your, uh, he's your number one fanboy. Oh, All right, oh, Harms. Chess. How are we looking, My gang? sister's watching, too. Sister! Uh, yeah. I was not injured during that. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> you guys stride out onto the floor of the pork shop, right? Are we yeah. looking rough, or can we, like... Uh, we, now, we can clean ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, I'm assuming you'll take yeah. a quick trip to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to redo the makeup on my yeah, hand from when it melted. melted it off. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to clean up these guys, because... Yeah. Replace the fucking sleeve. Whew. All right, we got through the guy who can see through lies. Cane sword. All right. So, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, step, you guys step out onto the floor, and, back and to the everyone is dead <laughs> silence as you guys peek through this door. Now, tending bar right now is the fifth member of the butcher who's been left in charge while the negotiations were undertook. Get out. Uh, their masked leech, Ricky Marseille. Um, who yeah, sits there leech. constantly injecting unrefined electroplasm into her veins and sliding glasses up and down the bar to the patrons to keep them satiated while the boss is negotiating with the carnies. She's sure it's going well. So, you guys step out onto the floor. Everyone is silent. All of the lamp blacks seated to this side of the room and all of the red sashes seated to this side are going to stand up as a door to this side of the room and a door to that side are going to open. There's a reverent silence which is going to be shattered by, it's a real party now, boys! As the seven foot, 11 inch figure of Blazo Baz is going to cram through this door as a one man, three stooges bit. Just, <laughs> followed by his entourage of his second in command, Pickett, and his main enforcer, Tony Two Times. They're gonna push their way through the crowd where uh, Tony is lugging a large chair, large enough to fit Baz behind him, and he's gonna, <laughs> Sit it down behind the table at the lamp black's end of the room. Blazo Bass has dressed up today. He's wearing his, uh, he's wearing, as always, his leather work overalls and his big industrial flat cap, but he's put on a very garish purple tie that is poorly done and just drapes over the front of his overalls. He sits down in the chair and <laughs> relaxes and he says, All right, where's the other side? Come on, don't keep the boy day boy waiting. <laughs> He's going to snap his fingers three times as the red sash on is going to arrive. My Lyra Clev has not made a public appearance in three years. She is exceptionally reclusive, and there's speculation that she may even be traveling under an assumed identity. My Lyra Clev strides into the room wearing her typical attire, an ornate Aruvian white gown with long white gloves and long white boots covering all of her exposed flesh below the neck, above of which is concealed by a gold face mask with a white veil pulled over it. She sits down at the table, and one of her aides comes and sits next to her. She has this ornate ruby ring on her hand and places her hand over his, and the aide's eyes glaze over behind him, and he says, Blazo Baz, welcome. It's excellent to see you under less... Hostile circumstances. Uh, oh, whoa. Uh, they're really cool. I think we should let them negotiate a little first before we bust in, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's your clown face? That's a solid you impression. That's a very good clown bit. Uh, <laughs> what? Because you're a clown. Oh. You guys are clowns. Oh. I thought you were saying me as an a like Amy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, Amy I'm like, yeah. Flame. Yeah. <laughs> 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 From the chat, everybody got it. So, okay. So, Blaz is going to recline, you know, he's back in his chair. Thanks for joining us, Beetle. The chair is Beazle. buckling under Beazle. his 456 pound frame. <laughs> he's reclined back. He's got, he's got at his left side in a half leather, half steel holster, the Blaster. I love it, but fucking how? How is he not, how is he allowed to bring that in? Oh, all the lamp blacks and all the red sashes are armed right now. This is by special organization. The two would not meet if they weren't allowed to be packing. Time for Brick to come make an appearance again! Cause of drama! And Blaz is gonna say, All right, Clev, let's talk business. We give you peace. You stop getting pounded! And my Lyra Clev is going to place her hand on her aides again. The aides' eyes are gonna retract back into his head and he's gonna say, Come on, Baz. Be reasonable. We may be down right now, but we're not out. We've been preparing. And if you don't back down now, you will be dead 
before the sun shards rise on the first of next month. The fury of the school of the Red Sash will be leased upon you. And Blaz is going to say, threats. Oh, absolute bullshit. You would have done that ages ago. You know for a fact we got you behind the eight ball on this one. I'm going to add my button and shower you in a bit of dust while lightning, and you're done so. Gone. My boys are going to blow up a police station in about uh, ten minutes. Uh, you think you're better than Stance Holbrook? Nonsense. You're a corpse, Clev, unless you negotiate with the Boite boy. Is there any lying happening? Hmm? In this negotiation? We are well, hearing it. What are you, like, lying? I mean, I'm assuming like, that they're probably like, both exaggerating I mean, I mean, their positions. Like oh, okay. Blazo Baz is 100% confident in what he's saying. Mm -hmm. um, and my Lara Clev, while harder to read, the only lie you detect from her is Blazo Baz will be dead at the first of next month. That was an empty threat. And the two are going to continue talking. The negotiations getting nowhere, both parties only demanding the absolute unconditional surrender of the other, right? And it's going to go on like this for about 30 like we minutes. I, Well, we could, we could go around and do some clowning, which would probably require us to make rolls, or we could just attack. Yeah, because I, I if you guys know. wait until negotiations are over, who's to say that my neighbor Clev is going to stick around for Baz's birthday party? Exactly, yeah. You you know, I have those abilities. I can maybe like try to confuse people and like start some fights I, and make it seem like they're I, like I do have a very smoking. promising Because I have a, I have, like, I have a very promising means of uh stirring up trouble because I happen <laughs> to know that Sebek is there. No. Sebek is not Sebek is currently on a boat charging towards the owls outside of a dock in Crowsport. Uh, oh, the Crowsport. well, I can I can throw go. Canonically, all four scores are happening right, right now. now. Right now. I can throw ghosts, which does not pin any heat on the clowns. There's just ghosts. I can I can confuse um, I can oh, put myself to yeah to maneuver to like confuse enemies so they mistakenly t attack each other so I can maybe like oh start them like, shooting at one another would be pretty good <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. like, if we can if we can get rid fire of fire if we can get into the air if we get rid of my Lara then Baz will be like oh what a great birthday present they can go on with their activities and then we can swoop in for Baz maybe. I'm concerned. We got, we got people from both sides there also, so I yeah. Don't think that but if but if my Lara is dead, then our our, our yeah. the violence in the pork shop may also draw Tangletown security. Oh yeah. crap! The other thing that's worth mentioning is Not if we start yet. some chaos, I feel like okay. we like like Lissa said, Baz is priority one. Yeah. But uh, other one, my Lara Clev is probably gonna leave quickly. Yeah. Given. The way so she's she's like, like, she's like, this is an You've all got four people and you're aware of only three exits. We could cover exits. Do oh. you have any culprits you could draw on? Uh, we know a few. Rubber. Oh, I, I I, do. I do. I know a prostitute. Cohort. Nice. Oh, cohort. Yeah, no, we don't. Right. Uh, cohort. Uh, you can stress nice. You can stress so you can stress you can flashback to bring a contact. Cohort. Yeah. Just yeah, 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 yeah. There's also our good friend, the ghost. Cancel. We do have an exeter. We do have... Sex worker. Yeah. Is that offensive? Yeah, apparently prostitute. Gotta watch what you say on Twitch. Oh, I thought, I, I thought that was just... That. First time anyone said anything offensive on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, Patrick. No. I really like your idea, Heidi. Oh, trying to start trying to, to start fight start and, then, and then we can like retreat a little bit and let let some of the shit go down and then like these because chaos. just shooting at the gold mask and aiming for it's the head. Gonna have it, it's not sword. gonna. James isn't gonna give. Well, they're gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna have like a point box. So I feel like we need to we need to start some chaos where like it kind of draws the attendance okay, away so from her to are we, like handle it. I can always supply more chaos. Is our intent to open that, with me? But that might what scare if, her to leave, so we need to like cover the exits. So what if so, two of us go out, the two of you that are like planning the actual attack, the two of us go out to distract as clowns. Okay. Make our way across to an exit. To cover the Because because would I be would I be attacking her directly or would I be like causing a distraction so uh, like the rest of us? Can You'd get be causing it. a distraction to change the scene from like loud from negotiation to, to chaotic. Holy shit, there's guns being fired. So when we fire guns, it's part of guns being fired. Okay. Mm. Um. I feel like that. In a weird, unintuitive way, so, yeah. in a weird way, starting our mayhem position. will it's, give us... It's so dumb, it just might work. <laughs> so so our, our intention is, is we're going to start mayhem, 
And that mayhem will provide cover for direct attack. And yes. provide all the indirect EXP. Yeah, I, I am a specialist in the area. Okay. Um, so. Here's a question yes. I have for you. How... <coughs> how is... Two questions. First question, how is the lights in the... How, how is... <laughs> it's been, it's been I've been, an hour, right? Oh, yeah, it is, actually. How are the... Um, how is the tap room lit? By what means? I'm going to say that there is probably spark craft lighting embedded in the ceiling. Because I might be able to screw with that mm-hmm. I do in a way get, that could be chaotic. I do want to get one quick And backstage. Out of the way. While we're brainstorming, just to have this out of the way, um, Casper's going to like kind of peek around the curtain and see his old boss. He's going to say, all right, I can't do this. I can't do that. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. Sorry, gang. It's just, um, okay. So down, down for the killing bit. Killing is great, but, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that I'm not going to, I, I don't have it in me to kill, uh, Blast. Not on his birthday, not... I knew him, he was a good man, I, uh, so you guys go crazy, uh, give me my Lyra. I cannot, uh, kill Blasto. Don't tell He's me you've good. gone soft! <laughs> if he would allow me to, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, grapple with my, yes. Well, sense. I think that's the right strategy anyway. My Lyra seems to be the magical of the two. So, yeah, I have a feeling Thanks. like our last target, Brute you know Force, might not be the most I got effective. This. I will kill anyone. About the coin. Thanks. And if there's anyone gonna get blasted by a beam, I'd rather it be you than me. <laughs> or me. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually, I I'm killer at resisting beams. Yes. Now, what's the plan? I can sneak around in the sort of backstage, as it were, and see if I can shut off the old uh, Lights, which might be a, a good oh, way to prompt that could help. some, oh, some yeah. mayhem. No, that would also cast you guys into the dark as well. Right. So how do you how do you run that? Oh, I, I'm, I'm just dark thinking sight that goggles. it's going to make things either more dangerous or less effective. I got I got dark sight goggles. Well, that'll also well, help. Well, that's nice because I have. Because then I can start some shit. And odds are pretty good you're the only one who does. I could randomly yeah, pull out a lantern. <laughs> Use my load on a lantern. I think you could. <laughs> Someone here is made of fire. fire. I was gonna say, That's there. True. Yeah. Shut off the lights, but you said there was a roaring hearth, so there would still be oh, some light in the room. Yes, there would There'd be some light in the room, but enough darkness for you to take advantage of your yes. thing and, and do I your sneaking around the... shenanigans. So I guess Oleander is gonna go around How in sort is, of. Blazo, there's like 30 nip in here. How like are they right next to him? He's at he's sitting at a big table and they're in a semicircle around him and his and his his main button man Tony two times is there next to him. Okay. How much how much risk would it be put in if I went out and started started clowning clowning? <laughs> <laughs> to a little trolling. Would that uh, I how think, much would that like give would that us, help y'all enough? I don't think it would give. I don't it think it would turning out good, lights. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't mesh with turning out lights. Yeah. yeah. Well, turning out lights is the strategy that, while good at causing chaos, may also inhibit you guys. That's true. Mm. That's true. I've got. So we want to make sure that we're all I've in got loaded dice and fine card and trick and trick cards, so I could I could clown around some. So you could do that, and I could use my. I wish you brought ability. loaded dice with you here. Um, <laughs> yours seem to be. Lights. Mine seem to be trash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yours seem to be loaded. You can distract, and I can use consequence. my ability, and we can still start shit without turning the lights off. Yeah, but if they like start shooting at people, I'd probably be shot. At too. Well, but I'm the one that's causing shit, so you could be like, ah, oh, and then you could. Oh like, no! You could just pretend to be scared and then, and then run, to a, and run, then to a, run to an exit. It depends on how well she rolls. A consequence <gasps> could be your caught. Crossfire. Yeah. But we have to. I might be worth yeah. it though. We can't plan assuming. We gotta do plenty of stress. Like you're never gonna be a good resist. That is and true. I do have plenty of stress. Okay. Yeah. And I can take armor. Clowning? I'm gonna clown. So you're gonna clown. I'm, I'm gonna clown. I guess I'm just gonna go cover and exit. And I can go find an exit too if, if this works out as we. as it will. Yeah, of course it will. Alright, let's do it. So you're stepping out in your. <laughs> <laughs> in your clown attire? 
You move out. Uh, my fine disguise kit. Your fine disguise kit clown attire. You step out onto the floor. You're ready to begin your act. And my lyric club is going to touch her H. Orderly's hand, and he's going to say, What in devil's name is this? It's someone's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they got a point, Clev! So true! I want to see this play out as the birthday boy. And I'm going to walk up to Blasso Bath. And start clowning. And I am going to hand him some dice. Oh, I love these things! And they're loaded, and I'm really hoping... Don't, please don't actually legitimately <laughs> roll them. <laughs> they are loaded to, like, whatever, like, craps. To make him oh. win again. I oh. can guarantee you that you will always win. Really? I love winning! 22 times. Hey, put down a coin on this throw. I'll match you. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't very believe good, that. Very good. Do you, you like incredible. magic, sir? Oh, I love magic. Do you want to see a card trick? Do I ever? 22 <laughs> I times. Do I want to see a card trick? And I yeah, pull. boss, you want to see a card trick. Show me a card trick. I pull out the card. Draw one. This guy. Show it. I will not look. Take a look. Take a look at this, Tony. Take a look at that. Oh, take a look oh, at that, Davy. That's that's something. That's stylized. Throw it in the deck. All right. Begrudgingly, I return it to its rightful owner. I start like throwing them. Whoa! <laughs> and then I take it back, and I'm like, and then I spin them out, and there is one face downwards, and I flip it. Was this your card? <laughs> that was my card. Happy birthday! Hey! And it, Happy birthday's written in ink on the card. Yeah. Oh, it really is. It. Two times, Tony. It really is. <laughs> okay. Now, well, would you like to roll something? That is a great distraction. distraction. Yeah. Good this is a great distraction. Yeah. Would it be sway? No. No. I think consort makes much more sense. For sway. Okay. I'll give you limited you have, you have, Okay. No. If I do. Clean. Okay. Okay. You have consort. Fine. I got the fine. Of course. I had the fine disguise kit, yes. and I'm going to use my uh, disca- my cloak and dagger, so which means when I'm confusing or deflecting, I get another dice. Okay. Wow. wow. Uh, I'm giving you standard risk. You desperate great. What do we need this to do? This is how good a distraction it is. Right. I what think is our, desperate. What's our I think move we need when we? She, I was about to say if for it's her desperate. To get what she needs. I was about to say if it's desperate, my Lyra Club might leave because she's like, this is ridiculous. That's true. We don't want that. I think standard brings is enough of a distraction for us to get into yeah. position. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Are you, are you guys going to cover exits and I'm I think that is all right. Yes. One in 16. Shut up. Shut up. Because I'm going to fail. It's going to end up happening. <gasps> ah! Uh, that's a six. Nice. six. <laughs> Big six. No consequence Yay. suffered. Everyone is either very enthralled or suspicious enough of this act to not be looking in their peripheral. Yeah. So I guess the gang is going to s- set up positions around where we can... Oh. Best cover exits, um, you know, places where we can uh, have lines of fire to the targets, yeah. okay. stuff like that. Um, and yeah. I, I think I'm gonna sneak into to like like you know there's like the two sides of of the of the table where you got all the the different gangs. I'm gonna go like kind of in between one and using this as a distraction and maybe like crack some some beer bottles over people's heads. Like, oh. You're oh gonna try God. and start a bar fight? <laughs> I feel like, yeah, right, yeah. I mean, that like, seems to be what your ability is, right? Because is your idea that unless, like, unless we want to actually start killing people now, I feel like, or or I can just do double knife the, throw and then like when the chaos oh. starts, we start <laughs> doing murders, right? So I feel like double knife throw might be worth a shot. One at my literal one at Blazo. Fuck, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you outright, it's gonna take more than that to kill. No, of course. No, I know, but yeah, it'll start. I'm gonna try to use it's my a start. Get the ball rolling. Maneuver to like confuse enemies so they think that they're attacking. They're gonna think that each other threw those knives. That's what I'm saying. Right? Oh. But like, I don't know if I, I don't know if we. But can then, do then will they think I'm the distraction? And they're gonna I think come you have to be in a fight for that to apply. Is it? Oh. They're sitting across the bar from each other. I think that it would be fair if you were going on the periphery where there's some red sashes near some lamp blacks to do yeah. that with those two. But these yeah, two in the middle, yeah, the large say. gap between them, that's a hard set. I think starting yeah. the fight between red sash starting. and lamp black uh, that, that makes sense. What yeah, that's what out. I was thinking because I don't think that we can I don't think we need to that. direct an attack like, at our target like at this moment. So you want to try and start a bar fight between the red sash and lamp blacks? Yes. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna give you an extra die. That was a set of help action for this. Okay. So Honestly. And I'm using skirmish. I'm giving you limited risky. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> you want to... You want to go to Desperate Standard? <sighs> Catastrophic rate. I mean, this is the part where we make our move, right? <laughs> this is it. This yeah, is, is it, right? Desperate Standard? That was... No, no it's I'm apocalyptic absolute. Apocalyptic absolute. I'm, I'm, I'm using my ability, so I'm pushing myself. Do I get an extra... No. Okay. And I just take stress for that? Yes. And so what is works, your... What's your current dice count? That's that ain't bad. Standard. That ain't bad for desperate standard. Which means you will. We've made desperate rolls here you with less. Make the roll. Right. Okay. Please. <laughs> That's a six. Okay. Yes. Yes. Woo. Nothing has gone wrong. So a standard success, you don't suffer the desperate consequence. And I like, Ooh, like you back and I go smash back a bottle over a red sash's head while the performance is going. And oh, he smashes against the table. One of his eyes gouged out by glass. And another oh, red sash is going to look at this. Look at the lamp black who's going to turn and he's going to say, What's it do you? He <laughs> 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 glasses right off that lamp. That's it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be a scuffle between these red sashes and these lamp blacks who are going to start hitting each other. Like, take the color of fine disguise. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fine disguise. As they start, as like four or five red sashes and lamp blacks start hitting each other, Blazo Baz and Clem are going to turn and respect the other. The aide and Blaz are going to start saying, like, hey, hey, stop, what the hell's going on? And they're going to get this situation under control, but you two have a window to act while it's not under control. Okay. As a I think I begin chaos, to erupt chaos. the corridors. Is this a good time for, this is a good time for an, an all the under classic? A grenade? <laughs> in this, yeah, I honestly, I think so. Because I feel like in this chaos, we're like, I was about to say, I can run to an yeah, exit. This, is, this feels you like throw mayhem. A grenade, I, I throw a grenade. A ghost. <gasps> now, you're, which one of you goes first? Because I'll tell you, at least one person here has superhuman reactions. What does that mean? That means that somebody might get to act between you two. So Interesting. who's going first? Well, I... I think... Um, given... I'm not going for Blazo. We've established this, right. so I should go second. Should go but first. I shouldn't go for Blazo here either, given our history. Huh? You are near Blazo. <laughs> You can't blow me up! Oh, no, 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 you can dance away. I was about to say, I like was going to run away to the exit. You can to the Okay, so you I'm can gonna escape in enough exit. time. Cool. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to throw a grenade in her direction. <laughs> <laughs> in my direction? Yeah, because that's where Blazo is. Right. Oh, yeah, because it's <laughs> And I'm going to run away to the grenade at Blazo? Yes. All right, now I am giving you... It's chaos. He doesn't know that this is coming. It's his birthday. I will birthday. give you... Standard There's, risky. Think the about grenade, the by the way, looks I would normally like do that limited risky, but I'm upping it to standard. Okay. Standard, yes. Oliander produces what is like, um, you know, like the bowling pins that they juggle, that sort? Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, he pulls a you, pin, he pulls a pin from it. the pin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are at standard risky. Would you like to go to desperate great? Ooh, I'm, uh, I could be desperate tempted. Great. Desperate so here's, here's the, here's the stats like we on that. This. We've established that a grenade is a fine weapon. Uh, and my wreck is one. <laughs> you established from precedent. Yes, this is true. From precedent of every, see every previous Oleander fight. Okay. So, that's by default a roll of two dice. Okay. Devil's bargain. Mm. Digging box in. No, that one's off the table. Oh, uh, yay! Um, what, you never had to accept it. That's just, <laughs> it's just an yay. option you no longer have. Yay, yay, less options. <laughs> uh, I need. I need this. There's a ghost. Uh, yeah, no. There's I, about to be anyway. Any good devils? Two Big fish. <laughs> I took that one the first time. Big it worked fish. Out in our Not bed. yet. Could All happen. Right. Could it's happen. You'll see. Okay. I don't know what big fish is. I don't have one in mind. This is a, uh, this is a section of town built on a shipwreck. Are you oh, doing yeah. desperate great? Big fish. I haven't decided that yet, but I'm likely to. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to see what die you can get. I'm trying to decide how many. I'm trying to decide whether I want to roll a desperate roll with. A good old two dice. Uh, Everyone's at four stress except for you if you want to, I don't know, have some out in the help action. You don't even need to explain a help action. You take a stress. I was yeah, about to say. I, was I like, would appreciate the you help. Have, you got one stress free help action. I won't give you a second, but you can take a stress for help. Yeah, I'll do that. I will. So I'm helping. Take that third die. No, I was. Can You've I? been helped. Oh. Okay. The only one person can help a roll at a time. Oh, oh, that's right. All right, this is a three dice grenade. Desperate. Please, please. Desperate. What's the consensus of table? Desperate? I kind of think it should be... 
this for free because I mean because we do we need, we need to do as much damage to yeah. the target as yeah. possible. I'm going to end up acquiring enough right. like bullshit yeah. happening we're, we're not, that like there's, desperate there's is going to be desperate. Great. There's going to be an action between desperate. Great. Need to do a lot. Desperate. Great. Dice and suffer yeah. a desperate consequence on anything other than a six. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna mark XP <laughs> on my on my prowess first. Have I made desperate rolls? <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, yeah, no. I made desperate roll. I'm gonna mark a desperate roll. Here goes. Oh, oh. Dirty, dirty die, die. Dirty die. Dirty die. Dirty die. Dirty die. I better see that freaking symbol oh. again. No! Oh. This is an only under moment. Dude. Uh, is this? Is there uh, a push yourself moment? No, you can't, you can't do, that do that after that. the dice. Can't do that resurrectively. So you go in to throw the grenade, and two time Tony. Totally, like a bowling. Two time Tony totally yeah. has been a bodyguard. For yes. basically his entire ah. life. We we flash back to the orphanage when a group of smaller kids try and pick on Blazo Baz, and he runs up and just starts punching him to get him out of the way. He's been in the bodyguard business since the age of four, and he knows a traitor when he sees one. You go to pull that pin from that pin, and he says, Boss! Draws a pistol and gets you right between the eyes. Ah, shit. Suffer a level four harm. Brained. Would you like to resist? I sure would. Armor? Uh, here's the thing about armor. I've already marked three the load. of my load. I can mark armor load, but then I am out of load. And this is a, you have three dice on this resist roll, friend. Yeah, you I mean, to, I'd rather to, resist. You, there is a one in 36 times six chance that you panic. Yeah, we're rolling this resist. Yeah. This um, would be astronomically ooh. poor luck. Well, uh, please. Go ahead and roll please. to resist. Oh boy. There's okay. never a better resist roll. Yeah, there is. Isn't. Yeah, you really have to. You can do it. Turn out these guys. Go ahead. Go Here goes. That's six. Six. Oh, my oh, God. No that stress. All right, you're going to suffer a level two harm uh, gunshot to shoulder. Fucking uh, smooth criminal over here. So it's just bam, you're shot in the shoulder. The grenade falls behind the bar and detonates, and glass and whiskey is shot up into the ceiling Oops. as Ricky Marseille dives under the bar for cover, and wow, a bomb and a gun have gone off, and everyone's starting to rise at their tables. Casper yeah. Manning, would you like to? That was a reckless move. <laughs> it sure was. I'm a reckless um, guy, what can okay. I say? So I'd make yeah. reckless choices. Um might as well put more problems on the field. I've got two spirits. Gang, what do we think? Do I use both, or do I just I throw one? This, uh, this could be a both moment. This could be a both moment. This might be a both moment. Both, both moments, two ghosts on the field. Shake them up, get them nice and angry. Ghost one is Brick Brooker. Ghost two? I'm reserving Brick Brooker. Okay, because Brick well, Brooker so is not in so You need to use stress to flash back to get these ghosts. Oh. The spirit bottles don't have ghosts in them by default. Oh. It's flashback to acquire a ghost. Brick Brooker's free because he's a contact. Ah, uh, okay. Well then, yeah. So Get my guess, man Brick yeah. Brooker out yeah. on the field. Okay. Uh, same thing as he knows the mission. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, been he briefed. Him, yeah. Zero stress flashback. Brief him, get him in the bucket. And... OBS Studio um, disconnected. Are we still streaming? Uh, oh, I just saw Erm in chat. Or is that from the roll? That's from the roll. We, I just got the <laughs> notification. Now. I've got the stream open and it might just be... That was an Erm roll. No, it's, it's yeah, flickering on mine too. We've had a couple of those. An error has occurred trying to play this what content. Can I say? Let's try again. Disconnected, reconnecting, and five seconds. I'm gonna mark EXP for, for so mayhem for and about for twenty seconds. Uh, oh, good. Reckless for that, I think. I mean, we'll popular see. clips, oh. solid aim. Oh, the broadcast has ended. Yeah, the broadcast is down. Yeah, oh no. I wonder how long that's been. Uh, not long. Okay. Not long. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's the first time maybe I noticed minute, it on my phone. I've had the stream up. Oof. That's yeah. broadcast. Why I paid a person. We'll be right back. Oh boy. Um, okay. I guess I stop streaming and start streaming again. Yeah. I guess so. You gotta have to make a tinker roll. Oh, reconnection successful. Oh, oh here. Okay. I'll let you know and when I see the stream is streamed. We are back. Okay, sorry, minor technical issues. Uh, are we back? Can uh, everyone hear us? We are back. We're back. I have it up on my end here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick if you would like to catch them up on what they missed. Yeah. I don't know where they disconnected, but I... Okay. Basically, the most recent thing to, things to have happened is... Um, you okay. uh, <laughs> It hurts we'll, so badly. We'll, this, is, this is pretty far back, but we'll cut back all the way to the clowning. 
Um, so Fyodor has come out to do some clowning. He's very, very efficiently distracted Blazo Baz and in fact everyone in the room, which has positioned Samandriel to start a bar fight between the two factions. Now there is chaos in the room. A couple of them and Oleander, excellent Four. at uh, utilizing chaos, produces a grenade disguised as a juggler's pin, uh, pulls the pin, and goes to throw it, but is shot by um, uh, Baz's Tom. elite bodyguard, two Tommy, two, two times. times. Uh, two times. Uh, <laughs> having yeah. been yeah. shot in, in the arm, is grenade throw and shoulder. Uh, the grenade goes wide behind the bar and explodes without killing anyone important. Um, anyone important? And that puts us, that's, <laughs> that's us caught up. Oleander has been shot yeah, in the shoulder. Ouch. Uh, that's ended? Are we good? Yeah, I don't see the stream currently, but, uh... I see the stream currently. Okay, yeah, here it is. Go on, play the stream. Alright, so, what, I mean, like, Brick Broker, man, but, like, what other ghosts could I yeah. have? Because if I play my cards right, there's, there's it'll be a ghost that just wants to fuck shit up. Um, okay, Chad is, Chad is confirming the stream is on. Good. Welcome back. Uh, you could definitely have a second ghost. I... Do we need hey, a second ghost? Scovlin Starist Army in the chat. Anyone that like the lamp blacks that died that like you guys want to see make a second appearance as a ghost that might have reason to try and kill my lyric love. Yeah, do you know any do you know any dead lamp blacks? <laughs> I mean you would know dead lamp blacks okay. because you were uh Amy went to use bathroom. You were one of the uh or owls. I know you guys are also affiliated with uh, Big Ol' Baz. Yeah, anybody who has incentive to see my right, Lyric Clam no die. Um, oh, alright, yeah. I will fill my water later. Let's get back into it. I was gonna say, you, you, you would know. reasonably know one. I'm trying to think of a good ghost to flash back to, and I'm trying to think if, like, I, I, I thought it might be cool if, like, someone had died, like an NPC that would have been, like, Working for the Mad Black stuff. If I brought Brooke him Brooke back, a former one. no, That's but true. Broke Broker and then someone else. Okay. Who's this someone else? Uh, someone that like died and would have reason to go after my Lara. Now to find a specific ghost that is vengeful to my Lara Club is like a two or three stress flashback. Ah shit. Just That's so you're That's probably aware, not worth doing. That is an intense flashback. Okay. Also, so, so then you might want to find like a like a break. Just any I ghost. Just, one stress flashback. Fill a ghost bottle. I caught a ghost because I knew I'd have to yeah, throw a ghost. Um, would I have to attune to this thing? No. What? Would I have to compel it, or would it just raise hell? The ghost? Yes. You would compel. It would be your action to compel the ghost. Otherwise, it might just want to fuck off. Oh, right. Um. Yeah. I mean, the ups and downs is, the nice thing is with Brick in town, you can compel one ghost and count on Brick to do what you need him to do anyway. And you would, yeah. You what if that goes the advantage of bringing just Brick is that that leaves you available to do other things while he wrecks havoc, other than control a ghost. Okay. Oh, right, because, like, I'd have to be, like, continuously, like, the power of me compels Because you have to compel the ghost that you compel. So then I might just throw out Brick. Okay. Do I need to take a spirit bottle for that? Um, yes. Is that a italicized ability? Or? It is not. Uh, well, that's all right. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll take spirit bottles and have another spirit on, or empty one on deck. Yeah, empty one in case anybody so, else some shows up with a ghost. You're summoning Brick Brooker, who is going to, you know, crash, <laughs> summon out of the bottle. He's got two bricks in his hand, you know, slit on his throat, blood going up into the ceiling. He's angry. He's got, you know, he's got chains on, on both of his arms, and he's like, all right, I'm ready to raise hell, right? Like, okay, what is the goal? What are you trying to get Brick Brooker to do? Give me an actionable goal. Uh, give me an actionable goal. Um, I think that Brick, not being me, because I, I can't look Blazo in the eye and shoot him, mm -hmm. but I can say, like, yeah, okay, you guys can kill him, right? And then I think I'm going to send Brick after. What if he rips off my Lara's mask? Oh, that'd be oh. very cool. I have a feeling my Lara has ghost abilities that might make it difficult to attack her with a ghost. Odds are that mask is a spirit mask. 
That's quite I likely. Think that, mm, what's a spirit mask? It it's a mask that it helps present for, it's, perception. It, it fucks with ghosts. It makes it hard for ghosts to attack you. Which uh, means yeah. attacking her with a ghost is probably ill-advised. Yes. Why am I doing that? Alas, oh, so is good wearing my such mask. That is yeah. a very good point. So. Oh, good point. Okay. Um, so then I would what if Rick and that's our main Rick, target. No, anyway. that's a that's a fucking crazy th- role. That would be terrible position if I tried to have Rick steal the blaster. <gasps> yeah, you could give it a shot. Oh. You could give it a shot. Talk to me. So I well, you would roll and, and I would give you For, for Brick Brooker to obtain the blaster, I would probably give you Desperate Limited. Oh! Because Brick Brooker's a ghost. This is a physical object. It's in a steel oh. holster. It's right next to Blazo and a contingent of his guards. That's a tough one. Yeah. Oh, Brick wow. Brooker with the blaster would be excellent alliteration, but probably not going to happen. Okay. Man, so, I have so flashbacks I think, to Bill Hooks. Yeah, I think he should <laughs> the, the, the alliteration. Just maybe try and... So beat the shit out of Blazo? I think that's honestly the best bet, is just try to like, yeah, how's he gonna like, start a first attack? I don't know, he's a ghost. He can raise ghosts. Can possess, they can interact with some physical objects. They can reach Ghost okay. possesses Tony two time, and then Tony two time so shoots Blazo Bass. Yeah, that's yeah. So you're attacking Blazo Bass with Brick Brooker? Yes. Okay, uh, a tune. Standard risky. You wanna go to Desperate Great? This is important enough that oh, but he has to live. I hate this, to do this. This is damage if I to went the enemy. To desperate. If I took a devil's bargain that Rick Rooker was incinerated by an electroplasmic bullet as a result. Oh shit! Oh, damn. Devil's bargain. Rick Rooker dies. Yeah, oh. totally. I'll give you that. It's for your life. Oof. You have to. I feel like that might be. That puts out us at a really big disadvantage. Is that for just one die? We leave, we lose a ghost. That it took, it costs wow. nothing to break. Damn! So little to you. Damn. Bro. Oh it my means God. so much to Casper. But this That's is important. True, but it's but important. also your wife to be. Yes. Your wife to be. You we gotta have to take things where we can get them. What we think. Oh my God. Trading Rick Brooker for one d six. I was gonna say, I feel like you should ask for a D6. <laughs> no, that player deaths are the only devil bargains that I offer more than a D6. That's fair. Oh, ah. Damn. That feels Dude. Okay. Maybe Does rather than Brick just... dying, uh, for a D6, Brick yes. gets yeah. knocked out of commission and I can't rely on him anymore in this fight. That's just a consequence. I'm that, say, isn't that what a devil's bargain is? A consequence that's guaranteed to have been regardless yeah, of Yeah, okay. That kind of makes sense. What are the odds we're going to make it out anyways? Honestly, devil's bargain, Brick Brooker's taken out of the fight is pretty fair. That's, I, I kind of like that one. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll agree okay, with that devil's bargain. Okay, well, yeah. so that gives okay. me two a tune. One, One devil's, bargain. devil's bargain. And there you go. I'm assuming you're going to desperate great, and that's why you've been that's maneuvering desperate to desperate great. Dice. Please yes. make the roll on anything other than a six. You're suffering a desperate consequence. Brick Brooker's out of the fight regardless. Go ahead. All right, Brick. No. Six double oh. oh. That's a crit for Brick. No. Now, Brick crit. Now. Amazing. Hear me out on this one. Mm-hmm. I promise it'll make sense, and I'm not robbing you of your success here. Okay. Brick Brooker surges forward out of the spirit bottle as I'm going to add a new clock here called Blazo... Give me... What's a pun? Blasted. Blazo blasted. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm just going to say Rip Rip Blazo. Rip Blazo. Rip Blazo. Rip Blazo. Rip Blazo. This is the clock you need to fill to kill Blazo Baz. And I've crit on this roll! Now... More clocks are going to get filled than just this first slice. I'm going to fill them as I continue to describe the scene. Okay, interesting. Okay? Mm-hmm. So Brick Brooker surges forward and just arm out, drives the brick <sighs> clearly into Blazo's nose, breaking it and spraying blood upwards, filling in the first slice on the Blazo clock. Really? Of six? Of eight. eight. Of eight. eight. You're oh, going to hear a call eight. out from the other side of the room. Mylera taking her hand off of the aide. The aide's gonna shout, 
blah, and then stop as the hand stops making contact, and he's going to come to. My Lara Clev is going to take the protect action on Blazo Baz and suffer a harm that he otherwise would have. Interesting. Whoa. Superhumanly quick, she places her arms and legs on her table and spring forwards, drawing an electroplasmic dagger outward, and it's embedded into the back of Brick Brooker, who's going to turn and drive a brick into the side of Clev's head. Clev is going to tackle the ghost to the ground with her electroplasmic gloves, and the two are going to get into an intense melee. Brick Brooker... Oh. Oh, Probably. hi guys. We're gaming. You're live on Twitch. Ooh. Yeah, we got camera. Brick Brooker hi, folks. is going to be taken down to the ground. Yeah, streaming. Blades in the Dark, tabletop RPG. Oh, fun. Cool. Yeah. I was just looking around. I heard yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was in here, so my bad. Cheers, no problem. Yeah. See you guys okay. around. Yeah. Brick Brooker on, like, a top club is just gonna one punch, two punch, three punch, the gold mask beginning to crack under it as she continues to just bring the knife closer to his throat. Bam, bam. <laughs> Brick Brooker fall, like, falls over, no longer able to remain corporeal, sinks through the floor and begins to float down into the river Dosk, down and out for the rest of the encounter. Still living. Having taken, normally I would say two but you did get a crit, so I will fill in four slices nice. on the Mylera Clev clock. That Let's I go. take that so we hard. like that. <gasps> we like Dude. that. Huge. Let's go, Brick. Big Whoa. dubs, big dubs. <gasps> Rip Bozo too. <laughs> Cleverance. <laughs> okay, so Mylera Clev, like gushing blood from under her mask, stands up. Blazo Baz is like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" And is gonna like, you know, he's gonna say, boys, we're under attack, and it ain't by the sashes. Now, my Lara Clev has been substantially wounded. Blazo Baz has taken a bloody nose. Everything is about to go down. They're about to figure out what's happening here. I need actions. You haven't done anything substantial yet. Would you like to? Uh, so am I still, I'm still on the floor-ish near this, right? Because I just started the bar fight and kind of like- Makes sense to me. Crowd. Um, Okay, so I have four stress left, so I could also, I could, I could do another one of the push myself and try to confuse people, but I feel like I should save it for later. Should I just start shooting people? Maybe. Honestly, like, there's but a I lot don't. of bad guys. <coughs> I could be, I could be kind of sneaky I and, could really try to, use and try to be like... Attacks. Give me something quick. Um, okay, I kind of just want to, I just kind of want to start, start shooting people. Okay. Can I can I um can I use skirmish for that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You're just shooting so, random red sashes and lamp blacks? No, I think I should I think I should go for Go for um, the targets? Yeah, I think Which I should one? go for Blazo. That makes sense. He's got more health. Yeah. And is the higher priority. And is the target. higher priority for us. So I'm gonna take I'm just gonna do a just a pistol probably. Go ahead. How and crazy is that, by the way? Hmm. That she took the protect action against Yeah, me. wild. Yeah. What now? So Interesting nuance. Okay, character so I have about to three for skirmish, and I'm just. Yeah, take your dice, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, is there any way I could like? I guess if I put I put on like a shadow cloak, that would more help with prowl instead of like not being caught. Yeah, I think skirmish is the way to go here. Yeah. And you're using a fine weapon. And I'm. Oh, am I? Yes, you are. Because we, as assassins, all of our That's weapons are fine. So you have four it's dice. Our I'm assuming you're going to desperate grade on this. I'm gonna use one of these. Please go ahead to desperate. Oh gosh! Okay. All right, desperate great. You are what? Just two knives plunging into Blazo Baz? Like diving into the crowd, just knife him? Yeah. Go ahead. I will do that. What position and effect is happening? Desperate great. Okay. Because I'm, you know. That's. Don't forget to mark this one. What? Don't forget to mark this one. Oh, yeah. (laughs) All right, anything other than a six, you're suffering a desperate consequence. That's That's a six. six. That's a six. Okay. Now, you're going to do three slices, and I'm going to say... Big day. Blazo's going to take two, and Clev is like, you you lunge forward from behind, get Blazo in the neck, he says, oh, yeah, that one stings. (laughs) Throw an elbow back. Miss, you go in for the second dagger, and Clev is going to throw her hand out, and it's going to embed her through the paw. Why, and she's gonna why is she like this? Fascinating. Crazy. 
Now at this point, <laughs> like, uh, there's more to this story this here. I want to know. Guys, I think, the two, are they fucking? The, <laughs> yeah. the second and third most powerful gang bosses in the district are being assailed. Blazo is very confused. And okay, the Red Sashes and Lamp Blacks, like, regardless of clock, they're going to figure out what's going on. You guys are losing the initiative. The chaos in this bar oh, is beginning lights. to unfold. Oof. Do I need to cut the lights? Cut the lights do please. I? Can I? Before, 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 can I throw off my disguise, disguise and use that as initiative? Because I get, I get that. If I, when I throw off my disguise, I get initiative in the attack. Oh. That's an ability. That's one of yeah, powers, yeah. The result. Yeah. Uh, when you throw off your disguise, Amazing. the resulting surprise gives you the initiative. In this the sounds like exactly what that's for. That needs yeah. To yeah. That okay. So yeah, lamp blacks, red sashes. They're like, it's been like ten seconds since the grenade went off. They're like, oh god, the clowns have bombs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't off your disguise, and they're like, Circus. Oh, god, not a bomb, right. not a clown. And now we're in town, baby. Um, can I? Oh, uh, okay. So if I throwing knives would be hunter finesse. Skirmish. Skirmish? <laughs> well, that's not I, good. I could be sold on finesse. No, well, I don't want finesse. That's good. Okay. Uh, do I, or do I shoot him? Do, oh, wait, my cane sword! Cane yeah. sword. Yeah. Gonna, okay, yeah. you're yeah. going in with your cane sword? <laughs> yeah. Against who? Oh, Blazo. Because she'll protect Because she'll protect him. Right. And then, yeah. yeah. Get both. Go ahead against Blazo Bass. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting okay. to think this isn't my Lara Clav. Uh, because. Oh. Go ahead. Okay, no, uh, f the, what did we say? Skir this is skirmish. Okay, skirmish, and then I'm fine. Giving you, I am giving you, because you guys have- But she has those weird magic powers. Now, yeah. now, this is the last, because you guys, you have used your special ability to gain the initiative here, so you are going to still be at standard risky. Okay. okay. Would you like to go to desperate great? With the two? Um, I could push myself. Uh, I don't want you. <sighs> Uh, no, I'll just do. I'll, I'll I'll go to desperate great, but I'll only use two. I would prefer you use three. I'm going to mark a stress to help you. All right. Um, the help coming in the form of just general chaos. There was a grenade that went off. So you're doing wild desperate stuff's great? going on. Are you yes. doing okay? So and grab you, a third you, die for help. Could, could. And anything other than a six, suffer a desperate consequence. Ah! Oh. Dirty die. Oh, oh, crap! Oh no! Oh, oh this is about one. to get real oh, bad. Oh please! Oh my gosh! Gotta chill. I'm gonna switch then. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah! Yes! Oh my god! All right, oh. you step forward with your cane sword. Oh my god! You know, flickering, 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 oh. about to stab. All right. You go in for Blazo. Baz, you're gonna you now you dab great effect, which is three slices. Whew. You're going to plunge your blade into Blazo. Baz. That's not the right one. All right. You're attacking my Lyra Club? That's no, Alice that's Alice Angry. Blazo's clock is right here. Oh, I took Blazo's clock off. Okay, cool moment. Oh, shit. You are going to four Alice left. Angry. Yeah. Well, that's about to happen regardless. Yeah. I was about I to say, we were kind of like, over that one. Yeah, the four sus clock. So do you then not wait, fill wait, in I was an about to say, Angry said, clock okay. slice? I'm confused. I just filled in one slice of okay, Blaz. Yes, just checking. Uh, you slice, impale him, you know, you're going to... Slice through his cheek and cut off one of his ears. Oh, my Lyra Clev, so like you're about to bring the blade down on his throat, and Clev is gonna rush forward, grab it in the arm, and it's gonna instead slice into her skull a little bit and begin to pry the mask yes. off. She goes in with the dagger, and you're quick, flick it out of her hand because you know Oleander Hemlock helping from the sideline whips a bowling pin and sh weighted bowling pin yeah, and just shatters a pin, yeah. her right hand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no bomb in that one, in just a pin. <laughs> just rude. Stabbing her, like, slowly, slowly breaking through the armor of the mask. You go up through her jaw, into her brain. Filling in two of the remaining three slices on the club clock. Oh, come on. <laughs> you guys have lost the initiative. My Lyra Clev is kicking back. One slice left. <sighs> Now the red sashes and lamp blacks turn, <laughs> well. and they see the clowns are in fact wreaking havoc. They know it's you. I'll let one of you act before the crowd. Uh, you, should, you guys okay. are standing Ooh. in the middle of this bar, oh, nice. well, room full of hostiles. At who? Are we feeling just? <laughs> off I feel like the two of them. Can I? Can I? I double throw next? Because I'm close to both. Of them. Yeah, for limited effect. Limited effect's all you need to fill in a slice. I feel like. Actually, you're taking limited effect anyway, because now you've lost surprise. So you're going to be making this roll at limited risky. You can go to desperate standard if you'd like. 
You need to yes, stand, just take a standard. Take a limited, <laughs> limited limit attack kill. on Clev. That's a limited single slice. That's all that needs to happen. One I'm slice is a kill. standard. So you Isn't can, so that, like, oh, elevating wait, no, lets you hit her is. and bad. Yes. So Thing is, though, she's so bloodthirsty, though, I feel like she would throw it at both. Okay, would you like to go to Desperate Standard? Kinda. Is that a horrible idea, though? No. So, you, we, know not, we know enough about high level we need to... with ghost shit that whenever yeah. you kill them, you don't. James, would you do that to us? After the would clock? You Probably not. Us with that? If a clock is filled, she's dead. Can you tell us that? If you feel this clock, my lyric club dies. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm not. Fucking well, just like yeah. a mirror. Yeah. 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 So I got. I got. Um, so you're going desperate. You're going. My lyric club. Not standard even risky? someone who's disguised. Oh, I'm sorry. Limited, my lyric club. Limited. Okay. Limited risky or desperate standard. Desperate standard. Go ahead desperate and make it. And then I get four because I have. You are using a fine tools, weapon. Very and well. I have three for skirmish. Please. Make the roll. Five. Um, five. That's all right, five. I finally get to dole out a desperate consequence. Can we re-roll that corner? No, that's a five. <laughs> that's a five. That's a five. All right. Uh, you are going to suffer a level four harm. You are going to oh, suffer shit. head crushed. As Blazo Baz is just going to bring his two arms together and squish your head. <laughs> Would you like to resist that? Yes. Please roll prowess. Wait, what? How, oh. how, how much load have you taken? Uh, I've taken three so far, but I've already taken all of um, so I would have to take the dang. rest of my load as heavier. Or would oh. you like to, or would you like to resist? It's a probably prowess, right? I yes, like it you, is. That's, that's a good oh, resist. That's not oh, good. Then, okay. uh, then you've yes. got four Go stress to take. I've got four. That's true. Roll so. three dice, please. Take six minus the highest stress. You take that's one stress much. and a level okay. two injury, you know, uh... Concussion? <laughs> Concussed. Yeah. Concussed. So, okay. Let me set the scene for you. Uh, ow. Now, you deal one slice to both, and let me go over oh, how that ends up. Yeah, baby. You stride We're forward, assassins. like you've got the blade almost through the top of Clev's mouth, about to kill her, no. when <laughs> the mask pops off, drops to the floor, What's and doing? shatters. Oh, yes. The members of both gangs are gonna recognize this individual. Somebody that the world of crime has been searching for for the last decade. My Lara Clev is very clearly a pseudonym. She's not even a Ruvian. Standing before you is the believed to be long dead wife of Blazo Baz. <gasps> Baby, yes. trust him! Baz. Oh, my, oh God. my God! Blazo Baz's jaw drops. What? She's alive. But it wasn't meant to last. still cares. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Sorry. They're both about to die. Broke you grab Clev. Happy birthday! And pull her head back into a blade. <laughs> Blood spurts out of her mouth, arcing into the air as Blazo Bags turns and just <laughs> shatters your nose. Your ears are ringing as you're staggered backwards as my Lara Clev dies. Blazo Baz now gets to act. Holy shit, Law of, Cons oh, law of Conservation of Matrimony, gang. Blaz is, going to, <laughs> Blaz is going to rotate the holster, pull the hammer back, and fire the blaster. No! Oh, shit. This is a custom-designed, electroplasmic, single-shot hand cannon of a pistol. Mm -hmm. You're suffering a level 4 injury blasted as this basically cannonball is going to punch its way through your chest and exit out of your spine. Would you like to resist? Yes, but if I was, I have two level 2. You're going to get a level 3. Go to level you're three. either dying or getting a level 3 injury. Okay, then I'm going to. Well, I, I have enough load to take heavy armor and resist, but is that worth it? For the blaster, I think you take heavy because we don't want you out of the fight now. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think you're getting out of a level three here. Resisting from level four is going to get you to level three. Double resisting is going to get you to level two, which just I promotes back to three. You're the best fighter you're on really, the team. You though. really can't double resist this one. You so can single resist it. I can single resist this, and I have three stress to take. But I might want to use my special ability. Take the armor. Later. What I'm else are you going to load? I was going to say, I, I don't think we need any. with me, so I don't need to like, yeah. double take the load. So I think I'm going to do heavy armor. Okay. You have a level three injury shattered ribs. Uh, excuse you me. You are kicked back and knocked over. Blasted. blasted. Of course. <laughs> Come on. Concussed you just fall backwards and, and you know, gushing blood out of your mouth. 
soaking your clothing in blood viscera. A rib is poking out through your shirt. You have been kicked, knocked over, and Blazo Bags is going to shout, RIP THE FUCKERS TO HELL! Uh So the last blacks are going to descend upon you, and all three of you are going to take level three injuries beaten to a pulp that you may independently resist or not. Ooh, what does a level three industry need, uh, need help? Um, okay, so, um, if I re- we're in a similar place that we'd be at level twos and have minus one die to shit. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, and by the way, you were wearing military grade steel armor and this thing barely did not kill you. So, okay. Um, what is what does a level three harm do mechanically? Mechanically, I think it means that somebody needs to burn a stress to help you, or you need to push yourself with two stress to do an action. Just like for the rest of this, for every the rest time of this you mission. do an action, you need to oh need help. Yes. Understood. Make some calls. I need to pee. Okay. Gang? I can Wait, take an armor. I can take armor. Just, it'll it'll take it to a. I need to resist being. I mean, I'd still have to be taking well. a a, right. a level two. To, Wait. What am I? What Here's a question. You already have a level three harm and two level two harms. Oh no! I think that just means you fucking die. Um. Uh, or you resist and you get out with a uh, trauma. Actually, I resist and I get out with a trauma, but I would still get hurt even if I resist, right? And anything that's two would just get bumped to three, and I already have and a you'd three, be dead. and I would just be dead. Um, perform a feat of athletics. I think by the mechanics the of the game, or just on the superhuman would just be resisting. Well, there is, uh, but this sucks too. That would be there is such a thing as the trauma. protect action. What does it cost to protect? I think. I think you take some amount of stress and you take the consequence. Because that's what, that's what Clev has been doing to get hurt when Blaz, uh, Blaz is getting shot. So that is an option available to us. Fry. Dang. But it's not a great option. It's not a great okay. option. The thing is, if I, if I can, if I can uh, bargain with like using my special ability to like perform a feat of athletics that verges on the superhuman, maybe I could just fuck off, like maybe. and just get out or like just push past people before they can That's get fine. to me and just like move at like. We only have space to get two more, but then we also have to get out. Yes. Um. Okay. So. Because I, I, I just need at this point. I I believe that uh, I would. Oh I would shit! But I've already off. said I can't really hit Blaz. I could have a ghost if Blaz. You'd have to take a flashback. You'd have to take a flashback for another ghost, but you could do that. I'm just trying to work out using Tempest. Yeah, you could have a second one. Yeah. But I can't just like push myself to roll it. You can Tempest There's only one more on Blaz's clock, right? Or, no? Why the hell am I I using Tempest to do damage? Because I've been trying to like use a tune for attacks. I could take a one level stress, use an attune roll, and on a success, do damage to Blast. That's the same as using Tempest and rolling attune, taking two stress. Just... I've been misplanned. Is there any ch- chance that I could have just taken a Silence Potion Veil and then not have heard the order in the first place? What like, order? Of him being like, oh, like, rip him to shreds. Like, How do you have like, that? <laughs> you, you wouldn't have that load after taking armor. It doesn't count as a load. It's um, oh shit! It's one of my work. I think you oh. would have had to have done it, done and that done it already. Before. Yeah, so I don't think I can do Flash that. Flash back? I don't know whether that works. You could take the stress. If I oh, actually, at this point, I need stress so I can just get out. I don't I know. I feel like you burn three stress to say I silenced that order. I feel oh. like he let that happen. I guess we'd have, I, to, yeah. we'd have I, to hear if him. I can, if, if, we'd, we'd have, have to talk, we'd have to talk to James yeah, about because it. Because this isn't like an act. Yeah. This isn't a consequence we're dodging. Mm-hmm. This is his action. This is his action. Yeah. But that... If that doesn't work, I can take armor. I still have I stuff I can... Armor. I could take armor, but then I'm down to what are, one, <sighs> one funny potion. I was about to say, what are the odds I could throw trans powder out? That's a decent shot. That's a decent shot. Because AOE is what we need. Is when we have a I, I don't just, know just, I just need, like, and it would only have to be, like, a limited effect, right? Could just I to kind of get him a little... And have swigged a silence potion before he made the order. Um, to, no. So it's fast. Flashbacks cannot undo something that's been established to have happened. I can't just swig it while he's talking and kind of interrupt <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay. Can I... 
use my ability again to perform a feat of athletics that for some superhuman and sprint through the crowd at like superhuman speed and like get this is a resist <sighs> now is, uh, it's a level three injury you're suffering correct you said I, just to the rest of us though because I thought the party the party is being bared upon by 20 to 30 lamp blacks in melee mean? combat as they've been ordered to club you with them. Now, somebody can take the protect action yeah. if they have enough injuries to spare two resists. Hmm. Otherwise, I think I might be the only one in the there. room who could do mm -hmm. that, but I'm across the room throwing ranged attacks, so I'd have to justify it. Which you could do. Technically, the crow, <laughs> well, technically the crow could also take if two I throw out Resist one tank the second. What do we expect from a... Man, if I just had ghost veil right now, I'd like, <laughs> What would happen if I threw out trans powder? This is a resist. We have to do the resist Oh, it's a resist first. first. We have to okay. it first. Well, I, mean, I could use armor, so... Okay, so you're using armor. And then I could um, eat... Yes. I you could can eat. throw yourself over Samandriel to absorb her blows. It's the protect <laughs> action as Clev took for Blazo. And then I could take armor on mine. Yes. If you could potentially do that, I'm gonna do that. Otherwise, I would be otherwise does I'm that. doing that. Okay, I'm doing that. that. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just going to resist. I got blasted. I need this to so I, so I use armor for my <laughs> yes. for the for being pummeled. Yes, and that is going to degrade it down to a level one, which was promoted to a level two. As pummeled. As pummeled, <laughs> and then you're going to. Use your protect action. You should not resist this because it doesn't. It's going to end anything. up a level three regardless. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to suffer a level three injury, beaten to incapacitation. Like nice. the lamp blacks are going to shatter most of the bones in your body. If you suffer any injury, even a level one, you are now dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. I get to die. Oh, so the lamp, now I'm just going to resist. Would you like to uh -huh. go ahead really and two. Go ahead and I can't take armor prowess. Yes, prowess. Uh, thank God we took the, like, fucking team Because I'd have a die in this. <sighs> I'm really glad I took heavy loads. Six! Six. Oh, All right, six. Six. For a level two injury. I've got a wife to get back to. That's I'm, true. I'm also going to roll to resist. This Go is ahead, prowess. Lander. Wow, you have... Can I be your best You have an insane amount of prowess. Go I'm, ahead. I've got prowess. I'm, I'm versatile. Yeah. Six! Oh. Oh. All right, you are going to suffer a level two Stress injury. Limits. Shattered shin. Ah, my shin. Boys, ah. You guys are standing, fighting the lamp blacks, just blows being exchanged, gunshots going off. You're going to drop a few of them. Not enough to turn the tides of the fight, but you're going to drop a few of them. Fyodor is going to get taken out. Samandriel is on the ground, cowering, trying. Okay. You guys are standing up, taking blows. Maybe a gunshot's going to raise Ah, uh, yeah, let me cue it back can up. We, we As, like, the music? bar <laughs> is crowded with people <laughs> trying to hit you, but unable to. I got to make a run. Have fun with you. I gotta make a run for okay. for to kill Blazo Badass, I think. Okay. Right? Because I feel like... Can I run? Is there... Because you two are both in really bad shape. Can I... Can I You're run? not far off. <laughs> Nor am I. I like, but like, negate the need of help temporarily for me to just, like, use my ability to, like, superhuman... I would say you can... You do have to push yourself to do anything, including that action. Yes. So it would be two plus two, and you would trauma out, but escape. But escape. Yes. Well, you trauma. I am no you, don't you escape trauma when you trauma out, out regardless? I, Correct. I, but I, I guess if you take yeah, any I injuries, you die. I don't know that so. you want to risk her. I, yeah. I think I would just die anyway. So you can just you can just fuck and phase through the floor and you swim can. out from under Tangle Town. What? Would you like to trauma out? Take a ride on the big fish. Yes, Kill ma'am. <laughs> Wee. All right. Select a trauma. Oh Go boy. Ahead. And wait, are you not doing anything to help with this? I, I don't she think I have to. She's retreating. Yeah, I have to retreat. Are you not? I, already, I killed oh, her. I thought and you I were going like to try and do something, and she had stress to spare to use the help action and mm -hmm. then trauma out. Do we want to do that? Because I, I can have three try some. Right. I can try some something. Okay. That's what I thought you were saying. I must have misheard. I think I think we are at the point where if we if Plaza Baz is going to die. We have I'm to succeed. I'm going to take the Clev clock away because it's confusing me. And succeed it well. Clev has, I think Blaz has three slices left. Blaz? Yes. I, no, it, there's... I'm not sure. It's three. It's oh, three. there's one that's overlapped. Yes. Okay, I see. I'm not. You have not updated. Is there a way for Hemlock to use his tinkering skills that would get Blaz dead? I don't think so. 
Um, is there a way for me to use ghosts? Because I have an extra spirit bottle from my load. Uh, I'd roll in a tune to try and get the ghost to kill him. And if I had the help action, that would be three die. It would be a one stress flashback to obtain a ghost. One stress flashback. Okay, and then you probably have to use the compel action to get a hand over the, to get a handle on the ghost. Let me try something else. Because ghosts are generally not friendly to you. Hmm. I do have my dagger, which was poisoned. Is it still poison? No, it was one uh, use. Well, then I may as well just well, use... Well, I can spend a poison... Tempest. Okay. If I were doing that, what okay. would you do? What I can also I'm find a local ghost. ghost. I'm trying to figure out what the, like... You're trying to figure out a way for you to help. And then yeah. I'm trying to figure out a, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm to an action I can like, do that will put the most dice out there and kill Blasphobaz. And I think it's probably just going to be a skirmish for one with a fine weapon for two... With and a, a help, from, help for three, yeah. probably a push yourself for four. Does adding a poison to my weapon help? Might help affect? Or does it help my roll? Because I have one more bandolier. It was slot. just a way of using drown powder on Lorento, is what that did. Right. Okay, so, well, um, my goal is use dagger, I guess. Yeah, so, so you've got four dice for that. And I'm going to say, what I would have. surrounded by goons. I'm almost tempted to give it desperate limited, but you do and have four dice. I'm so consider what I would limited do. Limited will limited this, fills in a slice. Yeah, but just one. And if I after I do that, Oleander dies quickly, and so does everyone else. So consider what I would do. I would use a uh, tempest, take two stress to use my tune roll to uh, f probably fire breath Blasto Baz, and uh, that would take two stress. I would push myself with two stress, still be in the game. By one stress, which probably means I fuck off and get back to my wife. Um, if someone wants to help me, that is two die plus pushing myself plus assistance. So Madriel's going to be in the same one place. In this I, yeah, I think that's I the think same exists. four if I'm dice. Close, okay, then I same four die. Sort of the question later. is: Is that going to have the same? What what what, what, what can we mean, expect what would for you give an me effect and position on that? Spewing fire. That feels easier and more effective than trying to get through a, the crowd. I will give that. I will give that standard desperate. Devil's yes. bargain. I die, and you give him more dice. Ooh. Fyodor, if you would like to die, I will give him four extra dice. Holy shit! I'll take it. I oh, desperate. Holy shit! Desperate Fyodor. standard. Oh my God. Damn. Desperate, desperate roll. standard. I believe that's seven the dice. Yes, seven die. Unless Samandriel would like to help you instead of or Oleander, in which case it's eight. Oh, are we, we can, oh yeah, I guess we could both be active. I feel like eight almost feels redundant. Help him. Uh, uh, two yeah. sixes, it's a This crit. is one hell of a... Okay, so we're both doing this. I'm okay, going in so with... we're doing, doing this. this. I'm Number nine. To Those ones have rolled many. poorly earlier. Oh. Um, okay. How many dice Let's do you need? Those one, these ones I am well. rolling... Uh, he's like, dude. These ones have rolled well. And I know that that doesn't mean anything. Seven die. Is my math correct? Your math okay, how many dice do you need? I seven. need four. Okay, well take these two. They've proven themselves. I'm helping by distracting? Um, You're helping him. When yeah. These two are untested. And then... That's it. That's your total. So if you have any tested... You're not helping this. Oh. You're right. helping the next thing. This one has rolled a six do? today. Stabbing. Oh. Burning. Okay. Okay, so five, ready? six, and then something else. So I'm going to stab with four untested dice. Okay, I need another... Ooh. Oh, wait, did you not... Do you want... I, I now have seven. You now have seven dice. And I'll give you any dice you need to make your roll that have rolled well. You can have mine. They've okay. been doing good. Seven dice. Seven, seven dice. dice. To fire a deadly attack. The Desperate standard. <laughs> my Go ahead. Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh, That's a dirty oh. die. That's a dirty die. There's no six on the table right now. There's only Ooh. a four on the table. There are two fours on the table. Oh, please. Stop! Oh! oh my god! Oh my god. Dude. Casper, oh man. Casper Dude. does not die. Casper? I was say, imagine you step forward. Oh, I didn't realize death, death was on the table. I Desperate consequence. You step forward and just ready to Dude. burn Blazo Baz to death. Blazo steps forward and he's like, I'm not gonna have any of this. And he's going to pick up a chair, turn to throw it into you, and Fyodor, seeing it going for your skull, 
You've got your eyes on the prize, and you've got tunnel vision, unaware that your skull is about to be smashed from the side. I do have a one-liner for this, whenever you want to give me anything. Fyodor <laughs> chooses love, stands uh, up, and throws himself in the chair. Yes. It shatters on his already dying body, and he keels over, splintered, bleeding, battered, dead, on the floor of the pork chop. You stride forward, Blazo Baz looks down, sees his chair plan has been foiled, turns in for a left hook. You intercept it with a burning hand that is going to peel flesh, muscle, to Ooh. bone as Blazo Baz's skin begins being erased from his body. He tries to uh, force his way over to you. Your second hand, glowing like steel in a forge, burns through his gut. The fire spreads over his leather overalls, which begin melting over the wound, as all of his guts are being liquefied by the force of this flame. You rip it out, and now with two hands, grab him in the skull, and thumbs into the eyes, melt the brain of Blazo Baz. I told her I'd burn down the world for her. And it starts with you! Lazo Baz is dead. Let's go. Oh, fuck. What okay, forget I said anything stressful. about a knife. <laughs> now, the lamp blacks are about to descend on what you guys. And getting out of here is going to be was tough. The, was that the first player death? Sure was. You two are going to suffer level three harms. Can't even resist that. I mean, shit beaten out of you. Um, what would a resist get me? A resist. Or an armor, I guess. An armor and a resisted get it to level one. Because uh, yeah, I can I can take a level one. I have an open level one to take. I'm um, fits and But the thing is, out. here, oh, what do we to need to do to get out? You to gotta give me a justifiable escape. Okay. Um, ghost. Uh, flashback to a map. Well, you're surrounded Ooh. by lamp blacks in the. Yeah. First, we have to escape this oh. building, and then. Um. Have I phased through the floor? You're gone. Yeah, you're out of here. Okay, I've I've you're traumatized. also gone. <laughs> <laughs> and that leaves... No reason why I couldn't take a level... Oh, oh wait, I, no. I I'm about to resist I, this. Yes. Oh, boy. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not going to oh, resist yes. it. Oh, yes, you're just taking three. level three. So, I have three stress to take some sort of flashback. I just need to come up with a justification. Okay, what's a flashback, flashback that gets, that gets us out, out of here? Um, um, ooh. Big plunger blows a hole in the wall. I love big plunger. I was going to say... I don't know what the extent of ghost powers is, but if it's possible for Lissa to have been watching from afar, we could have a code phrase that has her use her teleporting to teleport us out. How about we combine the two? Ah, oh, I like that. You managed to get explosives rigged to a birthday fireworks display. Let's, let's oh, switch okay, those. Come that when triggered, signals Lissa. Oh, bet. Okay. Trait. Let's let's switch those. This is your idea, and grid explosions. Is Absolutely, fine. Um, well, that's a yes. three stress flashback if I've ever heard one. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take a level three injury, beaten to a pulp. Can we flashback split the to three? Mm. And you are going to suffer a level three as well. Okay, I'm taking. Which, if you resist twice. Okay, this succeeding means. First of all, Why don't I you think setting off first, this, and then we talk. This will happen. Who's taking yeah. stress? Oh, okay. This will happen. Because I mean the, if um, we play this right and I only take a level two to have the Lissa thing and he takes one to have the fireworks set up if he has it to spare, neither of us have to take traumas. That's so I true. Think yeah, I have resist three. And we'll see how the I have lies. four stress left. So I can resist. All right, go ahead and resist. Let me but if we're, from the pool. If what I'm asking, I guess, is are we done? Do we need kit for anything? It would seem not. This is how we're getting the out of ending the mission. The mission is about to end. The about to end. So I'm going to actually, by my me? count, I can take armor. Um, leave it. I don't. Get the ghost. Get your ghost. I mean, consider healing later. <gasps> get your ghost, I would dude. love to get Fyodor's ghost. Actually, we have enough money to uh, heal however much. Or no, we should save to get upgrades. We want upgrades. No, y'all are going to need to heal. Look, okay. Y'all are going to need to heal. I'm taking my armor. Yep. And, and, I'm resisting. <laughs> and now you can downgrade it to a one by resisting. Okay, I'm going to roll. Prowess, 3d6. Prowess. Three, yeah. three, the fire, the random three, ones have rolled exceptionally. Six. Give it to us. Six. Zero Six. stress. 
Okay. Whew. So I'll level take... one, level one arm. Uh, you're punch. Taking punch. Stress. You're taking two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that a lot. A take two I'll, stress. I'll take two a stress for. So to, to have, I have set up. That way I set up the fireworks. Leave out with the same amount of stress. This is why you're my best man. Two time Tony has gotten his Tommy gun unjammed. He's stepping at the top of the table. You guys have been dragged down by the Lamp Blacks, and they are about to pound you into a pulp, and they've already gotten a good start on it. Casper is basically unconscious. Oleander, barely so, as blood is pooling in his eyes, fiddles for the detonator. Yeah. He on, doesn't find it. On. It's possible it rolled out, and just as the trigger's being pulled back, we cut outside as... <laughs> The first firework of Happy Birthday Blazo Baz signals in the night sky. Lissa has been sitting on her boat, um, a, fairly, a fairly expensive contracted boat from the Gondoliers Union, uh, sipping a bottle or sipping a glass of champagne as she watches out in Tangletown. The explosives began. The explosives and gunshots began ringing out a few minutes ago. She was. Nervous at the thought of how things were going, and she had no way of checking on it. But she thinks that for all of this bloodshed, at least, as she glances down to her ring finger, some good will come of it. Aww. And then <laughs> the fireworks detonate, and she thinks for the second time that day, showtime. Did she get my body out? <laughs> as she signals her finger forward, a crow shoots off of her shoulder, and she like in a puff of feathers, transmorphs herself into a second crow that just beams past this first one, beelining for Tangletown. That crow disintegrates into a puff of feathers. You two feel arms grasp over yourselves and oh, <laughs> You're all gone. I put a hand over a hand when I feel it. Three bodies and a corpse <laughs> slump onto the deck of the contractive gondola. <sighs> Thanks, babe. Lisa. Told you about the fireworks. Dust herself off. And she says, Well, I think we need a new officiant. Oh, no! I forgot. Can I still be your As that's an operation oh, success, oh. Casper starts bolting. At the cost <laughs> of the first player death. No. Of the campaign. Oleander <laughs> smiles a very toothy smile. Uh, his, his, his mask was knocked off in the fight. Um, you can see that Oleander's mouth is somewhere between a shark and a lamprey. Are you familiar with uh, sublingual teeth? Yes. Oleander has them. Uh, he smiles big and says, Happy goddamn birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and passes out. <laughs> Now, Amazing. as the camera pans up with Theodore's body, lifeless, eyes open, staring at the moon there, Worth it. we do a quick cut where in the composition of the shot, uh, Theodore's body is in the same place, but is instead lying in an open casket at a funeral scene. The funeral is not attended by many, and it's held in the grand pavilion of the Hulliver Lane Zoo. At the front ranks are the three remaining members of the menagerie, we're all quietly paying their respects. And behind them are seated Lissa and her most trusted lieutenants. They've lost a great ally. But such is the price of empire. As we have a brief camera pans over Casper O'Madden giving a few words, we cycle, we fade out. He doesn't get through any chokes on this. <laughs> As he's choking up, we fade into a wedding. This was, still was, this still was still life. Crying. This is what it was for. Did it for Casper is still crying for a different reason. <laughs> this is worth it. He was off. Where is the wedding being held, do we think? Oh, I feel like it has to be in the river. Hollywood Lane. Yeah, I probably. Know. I don't know that anywhere else will take us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are so laying true. low. That's, that's kind of true. Now, who have you gotten to officiate the wedding? So, Mike okay. Lewis! <laughs> my uh, dining Mike, wish! Mike, oh, it'd be Lewis. so good if it were sure. Mike Lewis. But also, um, what if we hop back to a scene last month where we're all just getting smashed and Casper sets down a ball and says, All right, gang, say we die on this. What do you want me to do with your ghost? 
This if is me asking, me, do you want to be a ghost efficient, or do you want me to just like have let you rest? If it it's were up me, to me, up into the stars. Fyodor's gone. Fyodor's okay. dead. Yeah. If it were me, vampire, easily. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, okay, no. Who do we have to officiate? I just wanted to get well, that. I was going to say, I do want to hear what everyone's answer is. To oh, that. yeah, sure. Mark Lewis is an answer. Mike. Or Mike Lewis is No, answer. I wanted to hear everyone's answer to yes, what do you want with your yeah. ghost. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel fan? like uh, no Schmidt Jones was like, surprise me. <laughs> what a, all right, yeah. And so, okay. Uh, probably... Oh, what was his name? Mike. Mike Lewis, the Mike accountant! Lewis. This is the banker that you saved. Yes. Yeah. He yes. owes you a favor. That mm-hmm. was the first one. Yeah, okay. Oh, so I think favorite. Mike Lewis would have officiated. Mike Lewis. I like to think that Mike Lewis was also at the funeral. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. My friend. That was one of her friends. In the back. Yeah. And also the prostitute. Oh, and the prostitute. Sex yeah. Oh, yeah. Sex work. Sex work. Sex work. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. <laughs> Mike Lewis gives a, um, a, a, a truly terrible rendition of a common Tyroki, like, wedding ceremony. Oh, yeah, both like he has spent he spent the last he spent the last two weeks in preparation for the ceremony trying to learn Tyroki. He he can't learn to read it properly, but he can learn how to pronounce all of the words. And by God, is he trying? Casper, Liz, and Ollie are all like giggling to themselves about the. Imagine, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, everyone all <laughs> except me. All surviving <laughs> everyone up there on that. <laughs> all surviving members of the menagerie are Tycarosi. <laughs> Oh, I just think so. Okay, sorry. Oliander's smiling. Oliander's like trying not to smile too much because his smile goes almost literally ear to ear. Mask on or off? I feel like. Oh shit! I need to put on the fucking thing that I have. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for the wedding. Yeah, Oliander's got a dress mask. He's brought a. Um... I got the call. Yeah. Oh shit! Sorry. He Only Anders brought a brought a brought a nice. This is just like All right. <laughs> yeah. Mike. Listen, what fix it? Do you, Casper O'Manon, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Lissa, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Of course. <laughs> then, by the power vested in me by y- you, I declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Smooches. <laughs> and you two embrace. And there, all of the death, all of the suffering, the blood and coin, all worth it. <laughs> You regret that there is a war to fight. You regret that there are battles to win and crimes to commit. You wish that you would trade it all just for this embrace to last forever. And that's where we'll leave it tonight. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, no, uh, thank you for joining us. Tell us 07s in chat for, for Fyodor. We're going to be off for the next couple weeks chat. due to spring break, but we'll be back with round four shortly. And uh, Holy woo. shit, this was a season finale. From all of us here yeah. at the Grand Pavilion of the Hulliver Lane Zoological Society and Park, have a good perpetual night. <laughs>